Okay, we're all recording. Everything seems like it's good. Welcome, everybody. We're all set up, and we are going to be playing Earthbound today. I'll mention right quick, I have never played this or Mother 3 before. I played Mother 1 for the first time last year, and I want to go into this knowing as little as possible. So I'll ask for help if I get really stuck, but I should be okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Batteries charged up for the controller. Let's get this over here. There we go. And as you can see, the Super Nintendo page for the Switch here, it's its such a weird cluttered mess, isn't it? I don't know why they have it like that. Oh well. Let's do it. Get comfy. I've been looking forward to this all month. Kind of had to keep putting this one off, didn't I? But now we have time. Not sure how long this is compared to Mother 1, but I guess I'll see. This is a game I've heard people say a lot about, and hold up. The war against, uh, is it Gigas or Gigas? Because I remember in Mother 1, his form was referred to as Gig, right? So I think it's Gigas? Also, this doesn't really look like what I'd expect from what I've seen of the Earthbound in Mother 3. Okay. Do people just say it both ways? Alrighty. Is that screen actually part of the original release, or is it something they made just for, like, the North American release? I'm genuinely curious, because it looks very out of place. Okay, then. Alrighty. Let me know how audio sounds. Tech speed, fast, stereo. Which style of windows do you prefer? Plain, mint, strawberry, banana, or peanut? Hmm, I like that. I'm in a strawberry kind of mood. Let's do that. Please name him. This is music. Okay, let me adjust the volume here. So I obviously I know who this guy is. He's Ness. That's all I know Ness and Lucas as, those kids from Smash Brothers. But I don't know the names of the other guys. Okay, don't care? Oh, that's a funny little option there. Name him. No. Okay, name her too. Well, what's her name? Because I don't know. If you hit don't care, it picks the canon names. Oh, okay. Thought it'd be like Pokemon where it just randomly picks something. Paula. Okay, that sounds familiar. That's handy. Name your friend. He's Jeff, right? Yes, he is. And name another friend. Uh, what was it again? Pooh. All right, then he's Pooh. I've got no jokes to make about that, clearly. Name your pet. Uh, what's the pet's canon name? King. Yeah, it looks like royalty to me. Favorite homemade food? Um, I can only fit a few, a few characters. Hang on. Let's see. Wait a second, I just realized something. Did I name Ness in all caps? Or did, um... I... Did it do that? You did? Oh, crap. Hold up. Hold up. I did. Yeah, I did. <laughs> He's already using Rewind! Fake gamer! It's okay, it only takes an extra second. <laughs> yeah, let me just do that. Don't care. It's like, wait a second. Did I do that? Did I really just name him in all caps? Do that. Favorite homemade food. Okay. I'm not sure what the canon one is. Steak? No, 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 no. We're better than that. We can have some better stuff. Hello, friend. Welcome to the stream. Oh, select is backspace? That's weird. Teddy... Is that all we can fit? Yeah. We say Teddy is in Teddy or so cookies. That's what it is. We're not actually eating Teddy. Don't worry. What's your favorite thing? Oh, that's also Teddy. That's the case, actually. Hang on. We'll go ahead and call this... Just say cookie for this one. How about that? Hmm? Cookie. 
Excellent. What's your favorite thing? Go to Teddy. Excellent, there we go. The little bear is here in spirit, somehow. Coolest thing? Yeah, that's right, Teddy Earth is the coolest thing. Sometimes you just need a cookie to perk you right up. Okay, good. We don't have to play with Caps Lock Ness. Can't believe I almost did that. Are you sure? Yeah. This music. Ooh, this looks nice. A lot cleaner than Mother 1. Obviously, because Super Nintendo. The year is 1990X. We can't let you know what part of the decade it is. Never understood that. Hotel. Stop. Onet. Onet, a small town in Eagle Land. Comfy looking graphics. Everything is nice and happy. Am I going to wake up and uh, a lamp is going to try and kill me again? Well, looks like I'm about to wake up. We're halfway there. The diagonals look a lot better than Mother 1. Yeah, they do. Yeah, I've never seen anything in this game before. I just only know Ness and Lucas from, you know, Smash and all that. Okay. In my PJs. Talk to... $20. It takes a second to load my money and my HP. Oh, I can pull them up like that. Okay. So B. A is this. I remember the, the status screen was super weird to work with in uh, Mother 1. I got an ATM card. Nice. I hear sirens outside. Check. No problem here. No problem here. Is that lamp gonna get me? Okay, good. Let's go outside, I guess. Hello? Everybody up? What's going on? Hey, bro! Did the sound wake you up? Were you freaked out? Just go into my sister's room and open her presents. Let's open the present. There's a cracked bat inside. S takes it. Brand new cracked broken goods. That's what we want to see. Ooh. That's my offense to six? I'll take it. What a broken weapon tripling my attack stat. No problem. Let's go. Ooh. Look at that. It's so colorful. I like the look of it. What was that noise? Ness, you don't seem scared. Are you nuts? All right, and now you want to go check it out? Okay. You'll sneak out of your room anyway, even though I ask you not to. At least change out of your jammies before you go. Okay, then. Oh, I'm back here. There he is! He's the guy! So I was always confused for a while because the character in Mother 1 is called Ninten. Sorry, I hope I'm not too close to the microphone there. I'm kind of mixing the audio as I go along here. Um, I thought Ninten and Ness were the same person because they look... Their official art looks identical. But Ninten is completely separate and people even, like, draw fan art of him wearing, like, uh, something around his neck to distinguish him from Ness more. Besides humans, dogs also sleep at night. Why aren't you asleep? No problem. No problem. Beep. All right, then. No one to check there. Anything here? No problem here. Let me see. One of the shoulder buttons hits talk automatically. Is it L? Let's find out. Okay, L is automatic talk. Thank you. I want to return home, but the road is closed. People are taking this meteorite situation too seriously. Reminder, no spoilers. I want to figure stuff out on my own. If I get super stuck, I'll ask for it. I don't think there's going to be any shenanigans like Mother 1, though, where you got to find that melody with, like, the frickin' invisible wall tile. No problem here. South of Suburbs, Onet. Is, um... Hang on. 
Is there an automatic check button as well? X and Y don't seem to do anything. Onet police are infamous for closing roads if something's going on. We are going for the world record. <laughs> okay. Now, I can't remember. Is the starting town in Mother 1, was that also Onet? Or was that somewhere different? I genuinely cannot remember. No panic. It's just a, what, meteorite that who fell? I just want to what? Go home? All right, then. No problem here. Okay, L is also an automatic check. So if I can't check something, it'll skip to, t it'll skip to um, talk. Hot dunk. That's what it was. Thank you. Did you hear the big bang? I think a meteorite landed nearby. I want to be the first to see it, okay? I'm going to try to be the first to get there. Did anyone ever have this game, like, physically growing up? Because I heard that they didn't make very many copies because it was, like, a bit of a commercial flop at the time. And a physical copy of this goes for, like, a, a huge amount nowadays. I think it might be one of the most valuable Super Nintendo games. At least, like, top ten. Oh, hi. Pokey, my brother, ran out of here to chase after a police car. He said, Picky, you should stay home, so I'm watching your house. Mom and Dad aren't home yet. They went out to an elegant restaurant. No problem here. This music is so uncanny. I like it. Yeah, I heard about the ad campaign where, like, they tried to bundle, like, these scratch and sniff stickers in, like, Nintendo Power or something, and they said, This game stinks. Like, because they didn't know how to market this game, like, at all, so they just went for, like, weird 90s gross-out humor. No problem here. It feels like the type of thing that, you, like, you'd hear about in a college class on how not to market something. It's like there's nothing here. It looks like a streetlight more than a lamp, but okay. Oh, yeah, th this was also one of the RPGs they bundled with a guide. Yeah. I remember that was actually a thing I heard a lot about back in the 90s, where they were so afraid of RPGs doing poorly that they would bundle strategy guides with them so people would be able to, like get into them. Supposedly, they didn't even want to localize the first Legend of Zelda because the Nintendo of America president at the time thought people would be too impatient for it. Don't you know what time it is? Get your butt home pronto. It's kind of rude. A meteorite has landed. The sharks are running wild in town. You kids wandering around and I'm hungry. I hate my job. So all I see is just a bunch of adults complaining about their lives. Nothing else is new so far. It's dangerous to go to the hilltop. Even if I, if I advise you not to go, it won't stop you, will it? Yeah. You're not going to stop me. That takes effort. I got a baseball cap. Ness very much looks like a 90s dude. Yes, he does. Hey, you. Don't you know what time it is? Okay. Although I haven't played this game, I have obviously seen a lot of its, like, visual inspirations in a lot of indie games, for sure. There's a bread roll inside. Hang on. I say- I probably saved the game at the phones, don't I? But the phone didn't do anything, it just went beep and then stopped. So I guess I can't save yet. Hey, Ness! Hiya, buddy! A meteorite fell down and went boom. It was a real mess for a while. I was fine because I always eat garlic and work out to help make my body stronger. However, the weaker citizens probably fainted. I also want to tell you, whoops, almost told you about my, uh, by the way, Ness, did you check my billboard? I wrote the message myself. That's my real job. You know, I'm a billboard guy. Why don't you check out my work? Treasure Hunter. This is Lear X, um, Age Rate's house? Is it Agarit? But it looks like it says age rate, like he's going to rate my age. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Wait, 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 hold up. Leer X, oh, liar and exaggerate, that's what it means. Yes, yes, I get it, I get it now. I was looking at the wrong pun. That meteorite looks different than usual. It's strange and marvelous, as well as mysterious. Mysterious, sorry, ooh. Hmm. Nice timing, Ness. Will you do something about Pokey? He's driving me nuts. Are you two friends? Nah. You're not friends, but aren't you neighbors? Come on, help me out here. Shh. Shush. 
Clear out. Get out of my way. Clear out. Get out of my way. Clear out. Get out of my way. Whoops. My mistake. Clear out. Of way out. Get my. I mean, get out of my way. Uh. Hey, Ness. Don't be rubbernecking. You getting in the cops. Oh, oops. Uh, I mean, officer's way. You can go home now. Tomorrow, I, Pokey, will tell you about the strange meteorite. I'm fine here. You're bugging the officers. No problem here. Oh, that's not his dialogue. Sorry. Okay. Ooh. Mm. That hurt my throat to do a little bit. I already need a drink. Can he do it the whole run? Um, Pokey is a character... I mean, I told you I played Smash Brothers, so... I think anyone who's played Smash Brothers has no, knows a few things about Pokey. You can go home now. Tomorrow, I, Pokey, will tell you... Okay, same thing. I guess I go home? It seems like this is as far as I can go. Hold up. Do I have a run button? Uh, it doesn't seem like it. Is this as fast as I go? Hey, you. Don't you know what time it is? No run. Doesn't seem like it. I'm trying to hold down everything. No run button in this one. Okay. At least I don't move super slow walking. I know that Mother 1 only had a run button because the North American version used the debug tool for it, which is so funny. Welcome home, Ness. It's not necessary to talk about it tonight. It's late. Scoot off to bed? Yes. Later that night. Not necessary. What's going on? Oh, alright. Guess I'm not getting any sleep. This is just a normal day for me. Someone's knocking at the door. What an annoying knock. My land! Who could be knocking at the door at this time of night? Would you answer it? Okay. Beep. Still can't check that. It's Pokey. Hey, hey, l listen to what I gotta say. When I took Picky to a place where a meteorite landed... Oh, uh, uh, good evening, ma'am. You look lovely as usual. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, police were gathering a meteorite, landing left suddenly to deal with the sharks. You know the sharks, right? They're, they're local ruffians. They were really going wild. Suddenly, I noticed Picky was gone. I blame the cops. Certainly wasn't my fault. When Dad gets back, I know I'm going to get it. You're my best friend. Won't you help me find Picky? Nah. You refuse me, I'll say something that'll cut you like a knife. No. Okay, okay. Won't say anything to hurt you. Will you please come with me? No. You refuse me, I'll say something. Okay, he's just gonna loop through that over and over. Okay, boy. 50 bucks. Okay, good buddy. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Before we go, why don't you say goodbye to your mom? Don't you agree, ma'am? I know what the dog that the dog is unreliable, but you should take King along. A cracked bat in Tracy's room can help out at a time like this. No matter what anyone says, you're a courageous, strong boy. Chad, is my pokey voice annoying as hell, or should I keep doing it? <laughs> You'll go far. Pokey set seems like he'd have that voice that you give anyone when you're telling a story and you want the other person to sound stupid. Yes, it's annoying, and you should keep doing it. Excellent. The reviews are in. Remember to go for it. But I think you should change out of your jammies. Okay, Mom. I'll change my clothes. Gosh, get off my case. All right. I keep trying to hold a run button. Look at me. I move diagonally. All right, you go up front. I'll follow at a safe distance. Let's get going. Yeah. Pokey joins you. You want me to go with you? Yeah, sure. I guess I have no choice. Let's go. King joins you. Beep. Okay, so I guess I still can't save the game. Oh. 
Maybe I can now. Ness answered the phone. Hello, it's your dad. Work to exhaustion when you're young. Have you ever heard of a weird saying like this? Just remember, I'm always behind you 100%. Don't be afraid. I know you're brave. You can do it. Don't forget to call me periodically during your adventure. I can make a record of your progress when you call me. Oh yeah, deposited $30 into your bank account. You got your ATM card? Withdraw your money from any cash machine, buy whatever you need. Good luck, my boy. I feel like such a hero. What? Well, the father of a hero, at least. <laughs> Slam. Beep. Ness picked up the receiver. Call dad. Uh, well, experience to get to the next level? Ness is four. Anyway, what do you want? Record. All done. Your dear old dad was also thinking about hitting the hay for the night. I've created a record of your adventure to this point. Good luck. Continue. Ness, you like to work hard just like your mother. But don't think it's good to work too hard. Click. Well then. There we go. Oh? Oh, is that a battle? Okay, so encounters are overworld in this game. Not random. Spiteful Crow. Okay. PSI, I have nothing yet. Just bash it. Spiteful Crow has a big grin. Grin on its face. Pokey apologized. What are you doing, Pokey? King attacked it. Pokey played dead. Spiteful Crow pecked your eyes. Oh! That would hurt. King growled and lunged forward. Pokey tried to edge closer. Spiteful Crow became tame. You won! Ness gained 3 XP. Enemy left a present. There was a cookie! Ness took it. Sweet cookies! Okay, so I guess while I have that flashing, I can walk through other enemies so I don't get, like, stuck, right? Hang on. Does Mom fully heal me? Let's find out. Because that thing pecked my eyes out. I'm dead. You're hungry already? Why don't you have some cookie? Pokey, you don't like cookie, do you? Too bad! <laughs> Wow. Mom's like, no cookies for Pokey. Pokey will remember that. Didn't show King or Pokey stats, so I guess they're not real party members. They're just kind of there. I think behind here now. So I guess I can go down here now, but don't think I should. Yeah. Hey, er, mm, mm. hey, Ness, you just gonna wander around wherever you please? Don't you think we should focus on getting Picky home? Sounds like you're getting picky with me, buddy. Well, there's a snake already there. I want to EXP away from leveling, so... Oil snake. So, compared to Mother 1 chat, is this a game where you can just randomly die to something stupid? Because, like, there were a few areas in Mother 1 that were just like... Haha, <laughs> go grind for a couple hours. Ooh, smash. Yes, yes, yeah, it's not that bad. Okay, perfect, that's what I needed. Ness's level is now two. Offense went up by two, maximum HP went up by three. Ness realized the power of life up alpha. I too go outside, I, I kick a snake, and then I realize the power of like telepathic healing. Okay. Have a look around. Hey, Ness, like I said, my dad isn't home yet. You gotta bring Picky back before he comes home. I'm trying to help you a little. No, you won't. You won't, you dork. It, wh wait. What is that, a butterfly? The magic butterfly made Ness relax. Or Ness relax. Oh, come on. They can hit the back party members, too? I just cleared that road. Fine, then. Pokey tried to edge closer to the enemy. Uh-oh. King is barking. Pokey played dead. Well, now I have to go back and heal again. I can use life up, but I I'm next to my house. Guess we'll do that. Magic Butterfly... Sorry, Magic Butterflies restore 20 PP. Okay. 
Yeah, Mom, I'm hungry. It was tough work out there. Too bad. Make a quick save here. Hello, friend. Welcome to the stream. Call Dad. $14. So I'm assuming the money system works the same way as Mother 1, where every time you kill an enemy, um, you essentially get more money that gets put into your account next time you talk to Dad. Thanks, Lilac, for do uh, do go donating a sub there. Wait, what? Dude, he's right in front of the door. I just remembered something. Um, I remember hearing about some anti-piracy piracy measure for this game, where, um, it increases the encounter rate an enormous amount, and when you get to the final boss, it just deletes your save. Was that real? Enjoy the bears. Hell yes. It was? Yes? Damn, that's funny. Okay, it doesn't look like I can really slip by them. I can't just keep going back to heal after every single fight, but... Okay, let's do this. Fighting attack. I'll make use of life up. Do nothing. We're stuck. You won! Snakes are large enough to coil me. That's great. Hang on. Where am I at now? 21. Should be okay. Pokey has been so helpful. Such a nice, helpful lad. We've barely gotten to do much, but I am obviously going to have to take some time to power up. Uh-oh. What is that? It's like I'm not getting by it. I know I got cookies, but I don't need it yet. Runaway dog! I don't want to fight the puppy, but I guess we have to. Runaway dog is making a loud howl. Pokey apologized. Pokey, you're not helping. Pokey acted all innocence. By the way, are you guys fine with the text speed at fast? I don't know if it makes the battle text hard to read, but... It's an RPG. I feel like you need fast text if you're going through in and out of so many battles. Hey, Ness. I was too busy to investigate. Heard a child's voice on the hilltop. I'm a busy man, but when I do a job, I do it well. I'm a man's man. This guy loves to talk himself up. See, picky. No, that wasn't so hard. I was expecting more enemies along the way. A wolf. I knew this was going to be a scary place. I wouldn't have come along. I'm out of here. Okay, then. Glad to see you, man's best friend has got our got our back here. Even Pokey didn't run away. What? Oh, you woke me up. Pokey, I've been looking all over for you. You see, Pokey got scared and ran away. Ah. Well, I'm glad you're okay at least. Let's go home now. I bet mom and dad are worried sick about us. Geez, sometimes I wonder which one of us is the real big brother. Icky joins you. Ness! Oh, hello. Do you hear a buzzing sound? It's like, it sounds like bees flying around? No. Oh, come on! You must hear it! Oh, now I do. Uh-oh. Maybe this place should be, like, sealed off? Especially when the meteor is, like, glowing? What's going on? A bee, I am. Not. I'm from ten years in the future. And, in the future, all is devastation. Gigas, the universal cosmic destroyer, sent all the horror of eternal darkness. However, you must listen. Where I am from, there is a well-known legend that has been handed down from ancient times. It says when the chosen boy reaches the point, he will find the light. The passing of time will shatter the Nightmare Rock and will reveal the Path of Light. You see, it is my opinion that you are that boy, Ness. This I believe. Gigas' monster plan must have been set in motion somewhere on Earth. If you start to confront the enemy immediately, you may have time to counter the evil intentions of Gigas. Three things are of the utmost importance. Wisdom, courage, friendship. The legends from ancient times tell of three boys. 
and a girl who defeat Gigas. I will tell you more later. Go now. Do not be anxious about the future. You have much work to do, Ness. Did you listen to what I told you? Yeah. Thank you for listening to my long story. You are as exceptional as I expected you to be. Pokey's gonna... Pokey's gonna do something, isn't he? Buzz Buzz now joins you. Ness! Looks like you're really in a lot of trouble this time. Three boys, he said? Um... Not one of those three, am I? Because I'm not into this thing at all. Jeez, my heart's almost pounding out of my chest. All right, then Buzz Buzz is following us. I was expecting Pokey to be like, oh, B, and just swat it. <laughs> just smack it out of the air. I got Buzz Buzz. We're going on a big adventure. It's me, Ness. I learned how to telepathically heal after kicking a snake. Clearly, I'm set to save the world. Surprise, there's just, like, no enemies now. But the one in front of my house just keeps popping back. Oh. It's been a long time, Buzz Buzz. You've been successful at foiling Master Gigas' plan. But, Buzz Buzz, you must now surrender. You're no longer a hero, just a useless insect. I'll stomp you hard. Oh, dear. Starman Jr. blocks the way. Starman Jr.? Buzz Buzz tried PSI Shield. What's, what symbol was that? Was that Epsilon or Sigma? Pokey apologized. Starman tried P PSI Freeze. Alpha. Excellent. Let's do it. It's Sigma? Okay. Pokey acted innocent. PSI Fire Beta. Okay. Buzz Buzz's shield is protecting me, I guess. So we should be okay here. Give him a boop. Pokey pretended to cry. I'm just imagine us trying to have a fight here, and Pokey's just in the background, rolling around on the floor, being like, please don't kill me. I don't want to die. We did it. That's pretty much what he is doing, yes. Oh, sweet, level. So, quick question. I remember in Mother 1, um, like, level up stats weren't preset. There was, like, a factor for, like, percentages for how much gains you could, you could possibly get on each level. Does Earthbound do the same? Or is it, like, preset gains on each level? Because I can remember it's possible to have, like, really... Okay, it's random. Okay, good to know. Oh, bad gain. IQ went up. I got smarter? Bet Pokey wishes he joined in on this fight. If it says, oh baby, it's a larger one. For level ups? Okay. Phew, I was taking a big chance there. He came from ten years in the future to kill me, so we can't relax yet. From now on, you'll be fighting enemies sent by Gigas. Gigas? I wonder if I should just switch between Gigas and Gigas and make everyone unhappy. As well as humans who have evil thoughts. Okay, so all of them. They'll definitely make trouble during your adventure. Animals are also becoming violent due to Gigas' influence over the evil in their minds. It's the truth, so listen. Oh no, chat. We're in the 90s? Ten years into the future, everyone becomes violent monsters? We gotta stop the invention of the internet. That's the plot. I should take you home, that's what I gotta do. Pokey, get your butt in there. What is that face? What, what is that face? Are, are you a real person? Or are you a bowling ball with paint on it? Where in the Sam Hill have you boys been? I'll have to think of a suitable punishment. Why is... Look at him. I'm really sorry my kids trouble you so much. Both of you are really gonna get it now. Oh! Did he give him the belt? 
By the way, I would be happy if you left sometime soon. We don't need any more witnesses around for this. I'm tired of your family living next door. We've loaned your father a lot of money. It may have been $100,000 or more. Uh, okay. In the Japanese version, the audio is different. It implies he beat them up there. Ooh, okay. Also, Dad is taking out some bad loans, but why are you why are you lending that much money? Well, I guess I really could have been less, but because of the loan, my family and I la now live in poverty. Then sue him! If that's true, you just sue him, bro. I think he's lying. My husband is much too lenient with the children. Oh well, nice guys finish last. That's the story of our life. Oh, cry me a river. Ah! I think it's a dung beetle. I'll smash your guts out. Oh. You killed the- you killed the bug. Well then, I- I- I called that Pokey was gonna do that. Uh, I was much weaker than I thought. So you must now begin your adventure. See? You. Oh, I just remembered. Listen to my final words. To defeat Gigas, your own power must unite with the Earth's. The Earth will then channel your power and multiply it. There are eight points you must visit. Okay, eight points instead of eight melodies. Make these places your own. Each of these locations is your sanctuary. One of them is Nero Net. It's called Giant Step. Go there first. You understand? Yeah, I guess. All right. You are a very intelligent young man, and... Oh, the pain... Everything is getting dark. Ugh. Gasp. Before I pass on, I want to give you something. It's the soundstone. You can record the melodies from the eight your sanctuary locations. Oh, I am looking for eight melodies. Okay. Into the stone. It's an awesome item. By the way, I'm almost gone. You want to hear the story one more time? I'm good. Good. It's already dawn outside. But it doesn't matter to me. I'm fading fast. Oh! Ness got the soundstone. Anything to say about that, my dude? Oh, I'm so tired. Nag, nag, nag. My husband's very soft-hearted. I can tell. He's such a big teddy bear. The kind that you just want to find out in the wild and hunt. My dad really got after me. He said I get no dessert for the rest of the decade. <laughs> okay. I don't want to look at the meteorite anymore. Later, chumps. Like, look at her face. She doesn't look like a human. She looks like someone painted a face onto something. Oh! This melody. In the Japanese version, Pokey says that his butt hurts. Okay. He got the belt. Yeah! Listen to that Super Nintendo sound chip right there. Oh, hang on. What's going on? That is not what I was expecting. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready, say, fuzzy pickles. Fuzzy pickles. Wow, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. All right, he just like, dude really just looked up at the sky and was like, I'm off. There is an entire 432 page book on the localization changes between the Japanese and US versions for this game. Interesting. I know that the localization team added a lot of quality of life stuff. Apparently like, um, what what's the dude's name who directed this? Itoi something? Apparently like he supervised the localization for um, beginnings, even though it was like stuck in a vault for like a couple decades. Uh, Shige Sato Itoi, yeah. 
You're back! Don't bother yourself with talking now. You look too tired. Mothers understand these things. Eat some cookie and scoot up to bed. Do cookies just fully heal me? The Yu-Gi-Oh! Last Turn Rulings document is 40 pages long. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that Itoi guy, apparently, like, he's famous in Japan for doing a lot of different things. Like, apparently at one point, like, after being an author or something, he was like, I want to make a video game. And then he made the Mother Trilogy, and then he's like, all right, I'm going to do something else now. Heals PP as well, the cookies? Yeah. Alrighty. Wait, 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 hold up. The cookies... I thought my favorite thing was cookie. Are you telling me that I named my favorite thing after a generic healing item? Or... Hmm. I did? Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. <laughs> so you're telling me that there's no way to distinguish which cookie is which now? Because regular cookies are just a regular item, and I named my favorite thing a cookie. Oh, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. Oh, boy. Dude's a writer, activist, loves to post pictures of his dogs on Twitter. The cookie you named isn't an item, though. Okay, so mom will say... Mom will give me the special cookies, then. Okay, the ones with the Teddy Ursa-shaped heads. Hang on, this one lets you check what items do, right? Oh, help. Cookie. When eaten, you recover 6 HP. Oh, Mother 1 didn't have this. Excellent. Life up. Alpha. Oh, it separates them. This is how it separates the versions. I see. It'll put beta, gamma, and epsilon next to it, right? Or does it go with alpha, beta, delta, epsilon? No, not epsilon. Sigma, sorry. Oops. I want to check help, but whatever, that's fine. Oh, oh, oh. I see enemies down there. I got psychic powers now. Going on a big adventure, Mom. Uh, something about a sanctuary, looking for eight MacGuffins. I don't know. Onet Public Library. Use the library more. Ooh, so sorry. People don't. A library is a nice place to learn stuff. I got a lot of info about Earthbound. You can borrow maps for nothing. Really? I want to get good at Earthbound. I want to be a gamer. Oh, this music. I'm used to hearing this music play in uh, Pikmin 251 lately. Hi! Kids can borrow only maps at this library. Do you want to borrow one? Sure? Onet isn't the only thing on the map. All the info is there, except for the info that isn't there. Pressing the X button allows you to view the map at any time. You know the X button, located near the top. <laughs> Ness got the town map. Oh no, this is a much better map than the one, um... Than the one we got for, um, Mother 1. That one was terrible. Tatusan? Aha, I get it. That giant step, there's a monster guard in a spot from the outside world. No one knows where the monster made giant steps territory. I wonder if he's stronger than my wife. What a weird thing to just throw in there. Uh, dude, what, what's up with you? A man a few words. It's useless talking to him now. All right, then. Recently, I sensed the presence of UFOs flying around. Or am I just dreaming? What, what does that say? I heart something? What does he heart? I recently wrote a book titled Our Convenient Society. It said our modern society demands that there's always an ATM in hotels and drugstores. Just knowing that is convenient. I'm glad I read the book. Can't believe I didn't know this. I'll check whether or not we have an ATM in our drugstore. Shh, you're bothering people. Okay, same deal. I hope I don't talk to someone, and they randomly cough on me again. I read a book called Our Society's Convenient. It said these days there's always a telephone. Okay. I also learned that a green payphone costs a dollar, while the black phones are free. If you weren't aware of this, all your money could get eaten up by your phone calls. Glad I read that book. 
Too bad in the future we got cell phones. Let's go up here. Didn't check that other door yet, but... Pays to look around. It's an RPG. I can't believe I saw it with my own eyes. I was staring out the window and there it was, just fluttering there. I'd only seen the encyclopedia before. What was it? A magic butterfly. You get close to a magic butterfly, it cares. All your cares fly away. Just like a fluttering butterfly. Yep, yep. That's the effect of the legendary magic butterfly. I love talking about it. Oops. Sorry about the outburst. I got carried away with all the talk about butterflies. I'm researching Giant Step. It's located north and west of Onet. I heard it possesses a special power. North and west, but there's no way to go west from there. It's just the hill if I go north past my house. Can I check any... Oh. Okay. Don't talk to me. I'm, th I'm thinking. Oh, no, uh, no, I'm in here. Don't try to come in, especially if you don't need to use the bathroom. All right, then. Guess we can't go in there. Didn't go in here yet, right? I'm cramming for the big test tomorrow. It's about games. Hotel rule. If you stay at a hotel, you'll wake up with full HP and PP. Life recovery rule. Recovering your life will give you full HP, but zero PP. Hmm, I bet this will be on the test. What does that mean? Quiet. Alright, looks like that's it for the library. I got a map at least. Morning, Minard, how you doing? Checked out the library. Basically resting versus reviving. Ness, I'm doing watch out duty for the hideout. Can you take over? No. You're busy, I understand. If I say yes. Just kidding, being watch out is my job. Butterfly is gone now, is it? Okay, let's look over here. Is that a mole? I am not your enemy. I am simply your average run-of-the-mill mole. Would you like some hints on fighting enemies? Yeah, sure, I'm down. Listen carefully. My hint involves which way you are facing when a battle with an enemy occurs. If you allow enemies to approach from your back or side, they may get a surprise opening attack. When they approach you this way, your TV screen, uh, no, 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 no. I mean, the world in front of you will show a red swirl for a second. On the other hand, if you approach an enemy from the back or side, you may get a surprise attack. In that case, your TV, oops, again. The world in front of you shows a green swirl. Point is, you try to fight so that you always have the advantage. Okay then, thank you, random uh, gameplay tips, mole. Giant step, north. Oh, okay. Oh, I had e East and West mixed up. Uh, yo, you fellas okay? I heard there's a big footprint on the hilltop behind this shack. I haven't seen it myself, just a rumor. The shack was locked by someone from City Hall. We can't use it. The reason it was closed was because a punk named Frank may have trashed the place. What a drag. We can't even change our clothes and hotels are too expensive. Traveling Entertainer's Shack. Door is locked. Okay. So it looks like I have to go through that shack, so we gotta go to City Hall. Gotta look around. Fourth wall mole. This looks like a City Hall to me. Psst, whisper. Whisper, whisper. Psst, psst. Shh, what if someone overhears us? Right, right, whisper. Psst, wahaha. Ha. You jerk? Because. Heh heh. Heh heh heh. The city hall? No. Oh, wait, no, that building in the middle looks more like a city hall. This one's whatever this is, we don't need it. Town. Welcome to beautiful Onet, the wild flower of Eagle Land. Girl named Paula lives in Tucson. Her mother runs a preschool out of their home. Can't remember the name of the school, but I heard Paula's really special. Why is she special? I forgot to ask. Oh, well. Okay. I like how it's called Eagle Land because, like, Eagle Land is just like <laughs> the place they call America by by Japanese game devs. It's like, <laughs> yeah, right? It's like 
When people call Canada maple syrup land, unironically. Eagle land's just America. Yeah, I know. Virtual dolphin, thank you for the sub there. Can I check this? Ooh, it's a nice house. City halls to the east. You know where the sun rises. Okay. Check some of these buildings. If you're trying to sell us the newspaper, go away. We don't read the paper. We don't want any milk either. So instead of having doors I can't go into, people just tell me to piss off. Wow, this really is America now, isn't it? Let's take a look. I moved here from the way, way, away next town. In the town where there is, a, what's the name? Polar Star Preschool. The preschool's at Paula's house. Paula uses, what is it? Uh, magic. Oh, thanks, Burgundy, for a resub there, too. I appreciate it. Everyone resub while local boy runs around in the 90s. Getting lost. Let's fight the dog. Getting that first HP upgrade on my second level was very useful. It seems like it would have been best for me to try and grind a bit while Pokey and- not Pokey, um, sorry, King was in the party. Or Picky. But it's a little late to take advantage of that now. I'm not so sure, but obviously I didn't feel like sitting there and grinding at the start of my first- Bro, I just defeated something there, come on. like pop back into existence when vitality goes up you get a big boost to HP oh yes you won enemy left a present cookie oh yeah I love just eating cookies that wild animals drop it beamed bro what is this house an open window and just two couches with nothing who lives here Point overlooking the sea has beautiful scenery. It's over that away. Such a beautiful place gets me all choked up. Dog's coming to get me. That's a gamer cave right there. Hell yeah. Gamer caves are sacred. You get yourself some comfy snacks, some hot cocoa, big TV and a couch, maybe some plushies as well. You can just comfy game. It's basically what I'm doing right now, minus the couch. This is the hospital, right? Yeah. How much does it cost? Oh god, it's another painted face. Hello, and you are. Say, have you ever suffered from some type of sickness or condition that you couldn't get cured at a hospital? For example, being, being uh, diamondized, where your head gets as hard as a diamond, or mushroomized, where you have a mushroom on your head. Sounds like you gotta call the home safety hotline for that one. If you're ever stuck with these types of embarrassing conditions, we of the Magic Healing Shrine are here to ease your pain. We're ready and waiting in the lobby of hospitals all over the world. The person next to me is the great teacher of he magic healing. Oh yeah, you know, I, I don't think it's a good idea for people to do that, you know, hang around in hospital lobbies being like, I can cure you with magic. <laughs> I did enjoy um, Home Safety Hotline a lot. That was a cool game. The devs are working on an endless mode for it. Oh, that sounds cool. Nice. Though you may not believe it, I'm a healer. If you have some illness that can't be treated at the hospital, it's my job to cure you. No, come back when necessary. Cool. We're gonna do another spooky day on Sunday, but um, I have Resident Evil Zero planned for that, but I have more indies in mind for sure, because indie horror games are a fun time. I'm not busy right now. Shall I explain the hospital? Sure. If a good friend of yours becomes unconscious, come to the hospital right away. As long as you have money for the doctor's fee, you'll be able to see your friend completely recovered in no time. Besides being unconscious, whenever you don't feel so well, come and talk to a doctor. Everything I just told you applies to hospitals all over the world. All right, but how much is it gonna cost? That's what I'm worried about. I'm Canadian. I don't usually have to set aside money for these things. I heard that around here, our doctor's number one. He 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 he. Wow, he's piss? I can examine each of you for $20. No. You don't need treatment? All right, yep. And what about up here? 
When I came to visit my friend in the hospital, somehow slipped and fell in the hallway. So now I'm staying in the hospital too. This could be a basis for a great tragic tearjerker. Well, maybe not. Actually, that sounds like a lawsuit. Go for it. Welcome to Onet Hospital. I run the place. Ah, gotcha. Sorry, I'm just a patient here. Okay then, weirdo. No, I don't want to talk to you. What about here? I was smashed by a mouse. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the way this is written makes me think that like out of nowhere, Mickey Mouse just came out from behind an alley and just broke her kneecaps with a crowbar. But she means she got critical hit by a mouse. Oh boy. What? You're here to visit my daughter? So you're the one who calls her in the middle of the night and talks for hours? Okay, bro! Whoa, 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 no, 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 that's not me. Oh, it's not you. Then why did you come to this room? I'd, uh, I'd keep an eye on her phone calls, ma'am. There we go. Keep an eye on indeed and find out who's calling her. Mm-hmm. Mickey dropped an anvil on her. Bro, what? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You engaged Yes Man Jr. and his... Uh-oh. Swung a hula hoop. What? Run away. Ness tried to get away. Couldn't. Okay. Well. What the hell just happened? Those dudes just came out of nowhere and... Oh, okay. Ness, it looks like you got your head handed to you. How about giving it another shot? Yes. Decided to return after summoning all the courage and energy you had. Jeez, okay, I need to stay the hell away from them. Um, did I lose progress? I have my map still. Okay, so it just sends me back home. Did I lose my money? I lost $10. So I guess my money gets halved. Okay, then. Imagine some dude like that just comes running at you. Hang on, did I take that much damage because I got back attacked? I have no PP. Or are those guys just actually that tough and I made it worse by getting back attacked? Let's see... Start of the game can be a bit difficult. Gets easier with more party members. Yeah, maybe I should try heading to Tucson for Paula. They're clearly trying to gear me towards her. Local gang is pretty strong. They're, they're pretty tough normally. I just tried to get away. They were fast. It's like, I noticed they were running at me. I'm like, oh no. One experience. Oh nice, I was one XP away. Oh baby, offense went up by three. Defense went up by two. Speed up went up by one. Oh baby, guts went up by three. Oh baby, luck went up by three. Maximum HP went up by one. PP went up by two. Hypnosis A. All right, let me go heal myself and get my PP back. Did I get three oh babies? Is that common or really rare? I have no idea. Eat some cookies. Mom's special Teddy Ursa cookies. Shape like a bear head. You get a drink. Oh, it sends me back to my room when I do this. Okay. Small annoyance. How's my sister doing? I'll do everything I can to help you. Good luck. You might get hungry, so here's a cookie. Well, thank you. You can also leave anything. Okay, so it's like the sister and mother one. You can also just dump your items on her. Be careful. Um. Hang on. Do I just have this one page here for stuff? Um. I should be fine. I gotta use those cookies more, though. Let me see. Oh, mods, you can just post a link to the Discord if any of you get a chance there. Oops, I accidentally turned around. I don't want to go out anymore. Don't care if everyone thinks I'm a stubborn mutt. Wow, bad puppy. Bad puppy indeed. 
I gotta carry the map around like an item, like Japanese Mother 1. Okay, I feel like I should get some leveling in. One of the things I remember that was really annoying about Mother 1 is that whenever you got a new party member, they were level 1. What was it? Uh, the, the, gir the pink girl in that game. Anna was her name. Like, when you get her, she's just, like, stupid weak, but she can get, like, some of the best attacks in the damn game. There we go. Do -do. Let's go over here. Hang on. I think I gotta go to City Hall, but I should stay away from the ruffians. You look so helpless. Are you okay? Bro, I'm trying my best out here, okay? Good and strong, the kids of Onet, B.H. Perkle. Check these houses. What is this sinister music? No problem here. Hang on, maybe I wasn't close enough. Let me go back in. When you're in tr Oh, okay, I was just far away. Uh, when you're in trouble, do you think you ever like to have a hint? No. Alrighty then, you're on your own. Good luck. I don't need no stinking hint. Uh. Sounds like you provide hints as well. No problem here. Now wait a minute, youngster. I could give you a great hint for just $35. You like a hint, don't you? No. You're telling me you don't want a hint? You're either awfully confident or $35 is too much to pay. Anyway, a young man like you is very unusual these days. You happen to need a hint? Come on back. I could just ask the chat for free. <laughs> there we go. Anything back here? No. Is this what it's like to just walk around the streets in the good old US of A? Sometimes some dude with a hula hoop just comes at you and just tries to just, like, absolutely decimate you. Oh, wait, that's just Florida, right? Are you Ness? My son said something about going to a hideout. I don't know what he was talking about. Asking us is 35 teddy tokens. You are a real person. This town is out of control. The wild boys are hanging out in the town and the cops have been cracking down on everyone. I'm considering moving to Tucson, a town in the south. See. Who are you? Mr. Liar Exaggerate, the treasure hunter, finally found something interesting. Heard he will only show it to you. Yeah, maybe I gotta go back up to him sometime. Not sure if it's worth it, or if I can't do anything yet. I find I'm not really getting stuck on uh, things as much as I did in Mother 1, too. I wonder if Earthbound has been released yet. Oh, it's doing great! In Japan. Oh, oh, oh. oh dog there. Don't worry, I'll, if I need a hint, I'll check on things. Engage the runaway pup. I don't want to hurt the puppies, but I need experience points. You win. Gain four. Who's there? It's creepy in here. What, you won't answer? Alright. Hey, let's see what the police are up to. I would rather be working as a parking meter cop. It's been too busy. Oh, what was the last thing you said? Too busy lately. I'm sick of it. Man, I am steamed. Don't even try talking to me. Broke the rules. Townspeople are in a state of confusion. Times like this, riots break out. People start acting wild. So we police are being ultra cautious. They didn't even seal off that meteorite very well. There we go. I'm not really one of the gang. I'm a cop, even if I don't look like it. Cover's blown. This is a jail. You guys have no business being here. 
Hey, I'm in here. Go and find another can. Haha, <laughs> just joking. This room is just empty. A little uncanny. Well, I guess we're done here. See a butterfly. I saw a car. Hang on, they're hanging by the bakery. They're trying to get the cookies. I want to tell you the story of the creature from the vegetable soup, but I won't because I don't want to bother you with the story that has nothing to do with your adventure. If I keep talking about unrelated stuff, you might start ignoring important messages. It's important for you to talk to people. Also, a person might give you a different message depending on when you speak to them. Okay, lady. Seems like every bakery has been making lucky sandwiches these days. They're kind of like fortune cookies, except you can win stuff. Oh yeah, it's a sandwich. Uh, so maybe it's not like a fortune cookie. Anyway, the best thing that can happen is recover PP. Just wish I knew what PP was. Hold up. I need to, uh, plug in the controller. It was at, like, half when I started. How long have I been going? An hour? Okay, maybe it was just at the end of being at half, then. This thing... Switch Pro controllers usually last a freaking eternity, though. Hang on. I'm just gonna carefully... Move this here. Plug that in. Ugh. You went to a bakery today and got some cake? I want cake. Cake sounds wholesome. Hello, may I help you? What shall I get you? Skip sandwich. Lucky sandwich cost $128? The hell you think lives in this town? Please come again? Bro! If I'm gonna play- if I'm gonna dump that much into Gotcha, there better be anime girls involved. Oh! Oh, the road's closed again. It's Onet's claim to fame. <laughs> the road to Tucson is closed. You can't just squeeze through the roadblocks either. Onet is famous for roadblocks. Don't talk to me, I'm on duty. Until I have Chief Strong's permission, can't let you through. Okay. I've done just about everything. Oh, he got my side. Damn it. Pecked at your eyes. Six damage. Need to go to City Hall. Hi, Mina. Thank you for the raid. Welcome. Neskine, three experience. I should eat some cookies. You think they're all the same cookie, or it's just like a mishmash of random cookies I'm finding from different locations? Use. Ness ate the cookie. Ness recovered 6 HP. Hell yeah! That's the hospital. Hang on, I gotta get to City Hall, but those guys are gonna absolutely kill me if I walk in the wrong neighborhood. Gotta be careful. If one of your friends becomes unconscious, you should visit them at the hospital. You should check with the nurse receptionist and she will release your friend. It's a nice thing to remember, but it's alright if you forget. I don't think so. Rumor has it the shark's boss is hanging out near Giant Step. No problem. No problem at all. Boop, boop, boo. boo, boo. There are lots of snakes and stray dogs around Onet. Is the mayor gonna let them just run around, doing whatever they want? I'm here to protest. Good luck with that. Aren't you stuck? If you want a hint, come and get it. Eagle Land Hint Union. There's like three different people selling hints in this town. Oh, aren't you Ness? Is it a school holiday today? Have your work, er, have you work? Have you done your homework? I can read, I swear. I kept trying to read a word that's not even in there. Remember to brush your teeth before going to bed. Have you been wet in your bed? Don't ask me that. I'm really in a foul mood. Why? Because the mayor doesn't like me. I think I'll just kick back for a while. May take me a couple of hours to sign this paper. Snicker snort. Someone doesn't like their job, clearly. Some suspicious-looking kids are hanging out in the woods north of the library. 
I wonder if they're members of the Sharks. To stop the spread of the gang, someone should shut down their gathering places, don't you think? I've started a movement that will stop all the bad influences on the children of Onet. I call it the Fresh Breeze Movement. Hum de hum. We don't have any openings for part-time employees at this time. Did I tell you I saw a giant ant one time at Giant Step? Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to spoil it for you. I did ant mean to spoil it for you. Bro, get out of here with your puns. I work for City Hall, but somehow Mayor Perkle bugs me. Let's keep this between you and me. Boo, get off the stage. What about up here? The mayor's office is on the second floor. You need an appointment before you visit. I'm gonna have to stop you if you try to see the mayor. Really? See it. The mayor's busting his butt with all the troubles in town, like the sharks in the meteorite. Hey, you the guy who's trying to reform the sharks? Whoa ho ho! Whoa ho! You gotta be kidding! Scram. She didn't try and stop me. Look, I told you so. Look, I told you so. Yep, stop me again. Stop me again. Mayor's busting his butt. I guess, okay, it looks like I have to reform the shark so I can talk to the mayor so I can go through the shack to go to Giant Step. I need no th stinking hints. I know what I need to do. However, the sharks are absolutely killing me, so I should probably just go beat up wild dogs for a little bit until I have some more psychic powers. Bow wow, don't you think you'll be needing a weapon? Did you know the drugstore sells things you can use? I knew about it. Wouldn't be a bad idea to buy a new weapon. Where's the store? Oh, it's a bit to the north, I see. Hint guy's there. I've checked all the areas to the left and right of the edge of town as well. Arcade is full of sharks. Can't play there. Ness dug around in the trash. Well, let's see. There's a hamburger inside. Ness takes it. Uh, okay. Oh, I just got killed. You're going to have to pay me a bunch of money. Oh, no, come back. Come back. Come back. Lawsuit. Come back. Damn it. There goes my free money exploit. Mmm, trash burger. Hamburger. When eaten, you recover 50 HP. 100% beef. 100% beef. Bro, it's like half eaten in the trash. Why would it... Hey, yeah, hang on. Oh, hang on. I just want to die. He's dragging my body. Across the road. No problem here. I can see a problem. The problem is uh, Speedy Gonzalez here doesn't want to step on the brakes. Alrighty. Burger shop. Don't you think you get more food value out of 14 bucks worth of burgers than 8 bucks worth of fries? You'll feel much better and more energetic if you eat better foods. You know, you'll recover more health if you eat more expensive food. That's exactly what someone that works with big food would say. I'm much more relaxed here. They never ask me, would you like fries with that shake? With the lady with the shopping bags. Seems like I'm always here. Hope I don't, hope you don't mind. Hello, may I take your order? Smile, smile, what can I get you? Can of fruit juice, cup of coffee, bag of fries, hamburger. $14 for a hamburger. In this economy? No, thank you. Have a nice day. Smile, smile. Fast food is cheap and, and cheap and grossed. You get what you pay for. That hamburger better taste like gold. Okay, maybe I can get some money out and buy stuff. Welcome to the automatic teller machine. Please select a transaction. Withdrawal. $106. Thank you, Dad. Hey, do you think we should try and pay back Pokey's dad? We could tell him that and then not do it. The false hope we could give him would be hilarious. Woof, woof. I'm, uh, Ruffany the dog. I'm being possessed by the spirit of the game designer. Ruff. 
Do you see the window showing HP and PP at the bottom of the screen? When you go to a store that has equipable items, this window will flash, look normal, or become black. If you are allowed to equip an item and it is stronger than your current item, the window will flash. If the item's power is equal to or less than your current equipped item, it'll look normal. If you can't equip a an item, the window's black. Thought you'd like to know. Now it's time to become a regular dog again. Uh, looks normal to me. So I guess I can't buy anything new? Hey, I know your hard-earned cash is important to you, but you should call your mom. She's probably get a... Uh, she, she's probably got an ulcer from worrying about you. Holy crap, a talking dog. Hello there, may I help you? It said when I was in the shop, so I thought it might work here. Bye. Can I get you anything? Cold remedy. $22? Oh my goodness. I hear a lot about this place. It's every time I see it. Mm, okay. Bye. Can I help you? Let me see. Crack bat. Okay, there's the flash. Okay. T-ball bat. A yo-yo. A cheap bracelet? Cheap bracelet? It costs $98. What the hell is an expensive bracelet? Does it cost a car? Baseball cap. <laughs> what is going on? Cheap is actually the name of the brand, and you're paying for the expensive brand. Um, Crackbat is what I have. Hmm. What's the difference between the T-Ball Bat and the Yo-Yo? Um, because I can only equip one at a time, right? Does the Yo-Yo have any special properties? Because it costs a lot less than the T-Ball Bat. Is the Yo-Yo yo is less accurate? Okay, high power but low accuracy. Okay, yeah, it's probably better to just go for consistency. Any character can have the yo-yo. Okay, then. I'll go with T-Ball Bat. See, when I ask stuff like that, it's okay to tell me. Because I don't want to waste money. Uh, T-Ball Bat. Remember, this game originally came with a strategy guide, so is it really that much cheating to ask chat a simple question? No, I already used re uh, Rewind to fix Ness's name, so I've already invalidated the playthrough. Let's get a T-Ball Bat. Would you like to equip it here? Yes. And buy your cracked bat. Oh yeah, I forgot they did this. Thanks a bunch. Um. Hold up a second, I want to see something. Equip. Okay, I have body, arms, and other. So bra the, the bracelet probably goes in other. Um... Uh, there's no hat, so is body just baseball cap? Probably. No, wait, arms would be the, um, hold up. The cap's a waste. I'm assuming I can find something better then, but hold up. Arms is for the cheap bracelet, yeah. Um. Oh, you hurt my feelings, yes. Body is for hat, okay. Come here, butterfly. around. I need to beat up more wild animals for money anyway. Every time I beat up a wild animal, my dad calls me and is just like, heck yeah, son! You rock and sock in them a bit. There's a bat baby mole. Giant step. Finding some equipment is probably the first step to actually doing crap. Hang on, is there anything up here? No, this is a dead end. Or does Cap go in the other section? Who knows? We'll see when I get it. When I get one. Okay, that goes there. Hold up. I guess the only other north I can go to is the one near my house and all that. Hang on, is there something hidden around here I want to get? Okay. Hold that thought. Let me beat up the crow. I should probably just eat a, a cookie in a second. Oh, nice. Now I can one-shot the crows. A few levels made a world of difference here. Hold up. I keep pressing X thinking that's going to bring some uh, something up. 
Yay. No problem here. Am I looking for something specific? Hold up. Hold up. Let me take out the dog. I gotta be careful with moving, or I'm gonna get back attacked. I hear leveling up is easier in this one compared to the last game. More experience. Hang on, this is the library, right? Do I have to examine for something? Hang on, do I need to go around from the back? Kid near the library, hang on. I don't know if I went in that little house there. Seen that person before. What's this house? Have I been in here? The drugstore is to the east. East is opposite of west. Oh, thank you. That narrows it down. Wild dogs there again. Hang on. Is it from the back side of the trees? Oh, there's a crow. Hang on. You're talking about this kid over here, maybe? Because that's quite far away from the library. Didn't I try walking in these trees before? I couldn't, like, get in there. Yes, I'm doing watch out for the hideout. Oh, wait, what? That didn't really make a whole lot of sense how I could get in there. I'll give you my Mr. Baseball cap. I know you've wanted it for a long time. It's the best cap for someone brave like you. Didn't find that till your second playthrough. All right. I'd like to go on an adventure with you when I become a little stronger. I had a dream about you. You were traveling with a cute girl. The dream comes true. Say hi to her for me. After all, I'm single. <laughs> Dude! Of course the guy with, like, the fedora slash trilby is saying this. Make sure you, you tell the lady I like her, please. Please? Oops, I keep pressing X. You've grown since I last saw you. You're beginning to look like a man. You're so cool. I think I really like you. Well, you know what I mean. Alrighty. Whip. Okay, it is other. Mr. Baseball Cap gives me... Ooh, more than doubles my defense. I'll take that. Okay. Well, that's useful for now. We don't really see them as much nowadays. Remember all those pictures of, like, people that would just, like, walk around in the fedoras, unironically? Why, hello there, m'lady. I heard you like anime. Would you like to go on a date with me? Alrighty. So now that I've got my stuff, um... I'm looking for the leader of the sharks. Bro! What? Stop! Get, stop it! You're... You're running over that guy! Oh, you're alright, man. He ain't alright. Nobody drives safely in this damn town. Okay, there's the hotel. I haven't searched this trash can. Well, let's see. There's just plain old garbage. Okay, pop quiz. A Beatles song. X, X, today. Chat, I don't know anything about the Beatles. Can you fill in the blanks? That's correct. I'm impressed. Oh, 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 I get it. Yes, yesterday. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Very cute. Say something funny, I'll listen. Hmm, can't wait any longer. I'm going back to watching the news. It's funnier than you. <laughs> All right. What's a hotel guy for me? Our nightly rate is not cheap, but we have clean sheets and the rooms are secure. I'm sure you understand that keeps us very busy. Welcome to Hotel Onets. One, uh, one night stay will cost you $35. Now, see you next time. ATM's in here. Why do they have a room for the ATM? That's a little ominous.
This seems shady. Ness picked up the receiver. I can call- wait, if I call mom, can she send me cookies over the- over the phone? Is that you, Ness? You called me back sooner than I thought. Everyone here is doing fine. Oh yes, Tracy started working part-time for Escargo- uh, Escargo Express. Here, I'll let you talk to her. Call me when you have some time. Oh, you don't have free time? Well, here's Tracy. Hello, this is Escargo Express. Oh, is that you, Ness? Big bro? It's me, Tracy. I'm working part-time for Escargo Express. What can I do for you? Oh, I see. So she'll go ahead and just, uh, give me my stuff by this. Yeah, that's the thing. You have to call your mom, right? Or Because you, you can get homesick. It's your dad. Deposit $70 into your bank account. Taking away what you spent, you should now have $8 in the bank. Well, experience to get to next level. Ness is 47. What do you need? Record. Your old dad was thinking about hitting the hay. Continue. I think it's good to work hard. Beep, 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 beep. Can you believe it? A group of ruffians spit their gum on me as I was passing by. You look like you'd be a real target for the sharks. You'd better be careful. Is this her hideout? Let's have a look around. I think I'm like level four? No problem here. Nothing in the plants. Hmm. I haven't bought no bracelet yet. I didn't have enough money. This town's out of control. Wild boys are hanging out. Ba 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 ba. Police building there. They're not doing anything about the ruffians. I talk to you. I heard there's a guy who stops to read each bulletin board he encounters, then he says, Check a Rooney. Is that you? No, it's not me. Onet Town. I checked you? What? You want to meet our boss, Frank? He's in the backyard of the game arcade, thinking about peace and love. You might want to visit him. Uh... Hmm... I feel like I should probably go back to my house and heal and buy the bracelet first. Let's do that, because that bracelet will probably give me a little bit extra, extra stats or something. I don't like it, though, because it cost a crap ton. Let's go. Anybody up here? There's the animals. Where you going? Where you going, bro? Wait, are they running away from me because I'm higher level now? Fightful Crow dodged. Oh, wait, I equipped the T-Bat, so I should be able to... Wow, he does one damage to me now. And I cracked him. They know who's up. Enemy left a present. Cookie. Excellent. Bash, 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 bash. They're running away from me. I can't really get at their back. But it's going to be a bit since the next level. I picked up a bunch of stuff, so I should be topped up. You're back! Don't bother yourself for talking, you look too tired. Let me eat, then I'm gonna go down, take out my money. All right, let's go down there. There we go. Ten dollars your bank account. It's probably not enough. Oh wait, I can't take out from here, right? No, only ATMs I can do that at. What am I thinking? I can't do it at the phone. That's a bit further out of the future there, isn't it? Phones can't do that. 
Make a quick save, go to the drugstore. By the time I kill a few more animals along the way, should have more than enough. Hey, the snakes are coming right at me. Oh. Okay. I'm too powerful, the battle auto-ended. I turned at the last second there, jeez. Boop, boop, ba -doo -doo. I'm an absolute monster now. 4 XP. All the way in the bottom. Let me get a drink. Hang on, where's it at? That's the hint guy. Chop's over there. That's the guy who tells me I look stupid, I think, or something. Stuck. Move. Move, buddy. He's blocking the damn way on me. Welcome to the automatic teller. Please select a transaction. Withdrawal. 25. Okay, that should be enough. Just enough. Hi, right, come on in. What can I do for you? Bye. Cheap bracelets. You want to, like, equip it here? Yes. Ness's defense changed from 10 to 15. Okay, good. Even more defense. Cheap bracelet, though. $100 for this cheap bracelet. How many, how many wild puppies I'm gonna have to attack to pay for that? Now, where is it? Okay. There's too many of them right there. Hang on. There's so many enemies down there, the game was lagging, just moving. See if I can get into the arcade. Quick, get in the pizza shop. Open soon, Mock Pizza Onet Branch. Go, go, go. In the game. Stare. Stare. No problem here. Ah! Okay, they were trying to attack me. It was you! You beat up my buddy, didn't you? You'd better just beat it. Uh-oh. Pogo Punk? Well, I should be tough enough to fight them, I hope. Pogo Punk? Okay, he only does one to me. Better than the frickin' four defense I had a little while ago. He became tame. Yeah, he learned his lesson. 15 experience, damn. I can actually just fight these guys. Oh. Okay, I have too much. The hamburger restores 50, so we can just get rid of the... Oh, I have to carry the equipment on me like that. I see. Throw away. Free hamburger. Space, no problem here. Hey, kid, you want to become a member? No, don't be such a snob. Oh. Yes, man, Junior. Let's get him. He started laughing hysterically. Bro thinks he's the Joker. Yeah, he became tame. The cookies are already kind of obsolete as healing items, aren't they? Let me look upstairs first before I go there. Frank has an incredibly powerful weapon. If you get your hands on it, I bet you can stand against any enemy. Spit, spit, saliva, spit. You want some gum? Get your own, twit. When you buy an item that should be equipped, do you bother to actually equip it? I gave a hint to my own enemy. I'm such a rockin' dude. I obviously have total confidence in my own abilities. So are you ready to get it on, Spanky? Skate punk. Let's get him. Man, yeah, they can't even hurt me. Given I found the extra hidden baseball cap. This is fine, though. Nice. Offense went up by one. Vitality went up by one. IQ. Maximum HP. Oh, jeez. Yeah, my HP is huge now. 
Tell you the truth, I like drinking tea and eating fresh vegetables, but that doesn't fit my super cool image. I guess I just have to accept this about myself. Alright then. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You sound like a real whiner to me. Don't get lippy or I'll kick your butt. Bro, I can handle you. Take all of you here. Hmm. No problem here. I'm Frank. You are? Come on, can't you at least say your name? Uh-oh. Ah! Frank's gonna cut me. Okay. Don't think hypnosis is gonna do me any good. Brandished a knife, and he stabbed me! Well then. Frank came out swinging. 9 HP to Ness. I maxed out my HP with that? Well, damn. Damn. Alright, let's bash him. Dodged. Let's go again. Frank came out swinging. 16 damage to Frank. Nice. Life Up Alpha gives you like 100. Damn, good. 50 XP. Excellent. Fail proof Frank can't be beaten. Puff, puff, puff. And this is Frankie Stein Mark II. What? Frankie Stein Mark II? Oh, jeez, okay. I thought that thing... I didn't think that thing was gonna actually attack me. Throw a punch. 15 damage. Missed. 15... Tore into you! Uh-oh. Generate a burst of steam. Jeez, that's a good-ass heal. I need a smash here, come on. 16 damage. Do it again. Yeah! Destroyed. 76 XP. Holy moly! We moving past all this. Offense went up by two, speed went up by one, maximum HP went up by three. Hope for a little bit more there. This is my first defeat. Fail-proof Frank is now just failure Frank. I know you've been asking around, so I'll tell you about Giant Step. It seems to be quite a powerful spot. Some kind of special power stored there that allows certain people to perform wondrous feats. However, a monster sucked up all the energy at that spot. It's difficult to get to Giant Step, that's all I know. I suggest you collect more information on your own. The entrance to the path leading to Giant Step is behind the Taurine Entertainer Shack. Perkle, the mayor of Onet, has a key. Ness, you've become stronger than I. Your adventure's just beginning. Okay. Ness, you've become stronger than I. Your adventure's just beginning. So I guess now I can talk to the mayor? Probably. Yeah? Yeah? Okay, they're not attacking me anymore, so I guess I'm tough enough? Maybe the police will let me by now since I reformed them? Somehow? Where are they at? Right, City Hall's over there. Yeah, dude. I went from everything killing me in a couple hits to, um, me shrugging off every attack to the first boss just, uh, killing me in a couple hits. Reformed them with my bat. Yeah. A T-ball bat. Alright, I'd like to be left through. Thank you so much for all your help. You're welcome. In the next election, please give a speech supporting Mayor Perkle. Hee hee hee. Hey, hey, hey! Mayor B.H. Perkle, so nice to meet you. You beat up the town bullies, punched them out big time. Bit their heads off, spit in their eyes, made them wet their pants. Okay, settle down there, Mr. Mayor. I turn, feel like I can turn up a little tiny bit. Then you force them to promise not to make any more trouble. Thank you. So, you want a key to the Touring Entertainer's Shack. For someone as great as you, giving you the key could help keep the town peaceful. However, if you enter a dangerous situation, please don't ask me to take any responsibility. I'd like- I- I'll be able to avoid responsibility, right? 
Yeah, you're a smart kid. Here's the key to the shack. Although it's small, the key is very important. You seem to have too much to carry. Get rid of stuff you don't need. Come back. All right, I'll eat a cookie then. The BH stands for blowhard. Probably does. Hey, hey, hey! Oh, I gotta sit through the whole damn thing again. Mmm, cookies. Yes, 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 yes. Ness got a key to the shack. Well, let's go use it. Maybe it stands for bald head. Maybe so. Too many roadblocks are set up lately. Boop, 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 boop. Alrighty here. Shack was up over there, that's right. I took care of the local ruffians and everything is going okay. The Japanese name for the mayor is like a joke on him being bald, so maybe it is, yeah. Hang on, I'll stop slouching. Yeah, it was up over here, right? Oh yeah, I've got Discord and everything closed. Don't worry, I'm not gonna get notifications. Door is locked. Key to the shack. Nest used the key, the door opened. Do I still have it? Okay, good, it's gone. Oh, this, because we couldn't just hop a fence. No problem here. Get out of there. Ouch. Keep going in there right now. Jeez. I thought I was stuck there for a second. Why not play Mother 3 before this? Um, what do you mean? This is Mother 2. <laughs> I'm not sure I understand the question there, friend. Yeah, this is Mother 2. <laughs> um, there we go. And what do we got over here? Thought Earthbound was three? Okay. Yeah, no, no, no. This is the second game. Mother 3 is on GBA. It wasn't localized. Miss attacks? Just missed. Rowdy Mouse. Now, chat, you know I don't like mice. Let me kick these. This is just like real life now. I absolutely would take a bat to some mice. 34 XP? Holy crap, that's a lot. Damn. Okay, there's quite a few places to go here. This is an empty room right here. Check here. No, no. I guess the names can be a bit confusing. Let's find another mouse. Rowdy mouse. I don't like mice. They upset me. Thanks for pinning a Discord invite there, Laurel. I appreciate it. Mice are friends, you just don't know it yet. No. Fuse. You won! I need to eat some cookies. Mostly because I need to make space. The cookies are kind of worthless now anyway. Only recovering 6 HP. Okay. Before I go up that rope, which is probably the way forward, I'm going to check this entrance over here then. The rats have a smash chance. Oh, is that what that girl in the hospital was talking about? Oh, wait, what? Black Antoid. Uh... Antoid's attacking. I will be fine. Ness dodged. Alright, let's bash him. Right. Oh, it's trying to life up itself. You can't he out heal me, bro. 
Yeah, that's what I thought. Get out of here. 37. What does the Japanese dialogue say instead of them getting tamed? Does it say that I'm, like, knocking them out? I wonder if that's a change they made. What am I doing? Just press L. A skip sandwich. What does a skip sandwich do? I think that was at the shop, too, wasn't it? Skip sandwich. Gives you a spring in your step for 10 seconds. Wait, wait, wait. It's a speed-up item? Like, does it actually, like, increase my overworld speed for a little bit? Yes. Oh. Okay, then. 13 damage to Ness. That mouse tried to smash. Miss. Chad, I told you the story before. At one time, I went to my kitchen, right? It was, like, late at night. I wanted to get a drink. And when I closed the fridge, a mouse ran out from underneath the fridge and tried to, like, climb up my leg. And I did, like, the most... Freaking... I jumped backwards, like, kicking my leg out, trying to get the damn thing away from me. And now I, I hate mice even more after that. I absolutely despise them for that. Oh! Oh, that's not good. That's super not good. Slugs! The attack slugs. Uh-oh. Run. Couldn't. Oh, this is bad. Okay. Really doing little bits of damage. We can take them. Attack slug A. Okay, we can do it. Didn't work very well. Even the tiny bugs are trying to attack me now. 81 for that? Okay. Vitality, IQ. 12 HP, nice. Level up doesn't instantly heal you, it seems. Hang on. Mmm, should I go back? How much money do I have? Four dollars. Okay, if I die, I literally lo lose nothing. So I don't really care. These are good grind enemies. Yeah, I'd say so. It seems like you start really underpowered, but it's pretty... Once you know what to do, it's really easy to kind of, like, uh, get yourself going here. Stop cheering for the slugs. The slugs must be defeated. They're in the way. 108 EXP. Ooh, look at me climb. That stanky animation. Rowdy Mouse. There's an insect right next to him. Okay, their, sma their, their smash attack there isn't doing a whole lot. I actually didn't- I had Slug show up before. Hold up. I'm gonna fight this. Um, I remember one time, this was years ago, like, uh, we came home one day and there was just a big slug on the kitchen counter and we don't know how the hell it got in or where it came from, but there was just a slug on the counter and my mom was like, get rid of it. I, can't, I don't want to- Christian, I don't want to touch it. Get rid of it right now. And I had to just, like, scoop it up and take it to the backyard. <laughs> like, it was a big slug. We don't know how the hell it got in there. Yeah, let's do this. If I die, I'm only gonna lose two dollars. Oh. Calling for help, huh? Calling for help again. Okay, cut that out. Cut that out. Stop that! What are they doing? Oh, great. Hmm. Let them just finish me off. Look at that face. Ness, yes, looks like you got your head handed to you. How about give another shot? What is that picture? That, that didn't happen last time, did it? Alright, I'm back home. 
I lost two dollars, but that's okay. It was either warp back uh, through KO or uh, walk all the way back, and it was faster to just lose. I've got a couple hamburgers, so I can just go in with those. My PP is... Oh, I need to restore the PP. Hang on. So let's just go ahead and talk to Mom. I should also make a save with Dad and see if he, um... There we go. Check with Dad there, see if he's gonna tell me what else I need. Hang on, do I one-shot you? Nice. This is handy. I don't really like that uh, frame animation for a flash. Ness is dressed up like a Pokemon trainer. Which kind of fits, because, um... Hang on. Wasn't it like people who worked on Mother 1 went on to, like, uh, make Pokemon Red and Blue? I remember hearing about that. Because I, if I'm not mistaken, I think, like, parts of Mewtwo's design actually takes inspiration from Geek. That's what Ape is? Okay. Ape went on to become Creatures, Inc. Oh, okay. That's cool. No, no, I haven't played Undertale, so don't tell me anything about that game. Maybe I'll do it as a stream, but probably in emote-only mode. 244 into my bank account. Ness needs 124, damn. Seems like getting to the, um... The cave is, like, the best place to grind, for sure. Undertale would be backseat hell, I'm sure it would be. Do do do. Back to the cave. Everybody would have to get banned if you did it in a did it as a stream, probably. The ban your band finger would get tired doing that, probably. You won. More experience. Damn, I have to say, it's really nice that I can just do this. Oh, darn it. No. Yes, leave the cookie behind. It's chump change. But I'll take it. Only one? Whatever. Snakes give nothing. I might put that cookie down. Probably just also record Undertale off-stream or something if I were to play it. Who knows? Cross that bridge when we come to come to it. The moment I Undertale- I, I upload an Undertale playthrough, though, that's when I'm gonna get- For years, I'll get comments telling me I, I, about things I did wrong. To this day, I still get comments of, on old Yu-Gi-Oh! VODs from half a decade ago telling me how I played wrong. Let's do it. The slug is down. I should probably just eat a random cookie. 108, damn. Hang on. Use that. I remember hearing somewhere that, um... Markiplier actually has a lot of people who comment on his old Five Nights at Freddy's playthroughs, correcting him about the lore. When, uh... Basically, info-dumping him on sequels that obviously didn't exist when he was playing the older games. And it's like, dude, <laughs> why would you bother doing that? Internet is weird, man. Let's do it. Getting attacked. You won! 108, and now we got another level. Oh, baby! Oh, baby! Nice. The power of... Ooh! The power of PSI Teddy? I got psychic bear powers? Hold up, hold up. What is psychic bear powers? Can I not check them? Oh, wait! I can actually check how much I need for my next level on this screen. That's nice. Damn.
Offense. A deadly PSI attack, which only Ness can use. Psychokinetic wave generated by concentration that deals each enemy 50 points of damage. Ooh. My favorite thing has a... That's another reason we put that in. Oops. Do, 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 do. Rowdy Mouse. Well, next time we come across a group, I better use that PSI. I may as well eat my remaining cookies. Imagine Teddy Ursa dressed up as Ness and it's adorable. Imagine, like, what, what would a psychic psychic bear attack be? Imagine, like, Ness summons Teddy Ursa, like a persona, and Teddy just, like, charges in there and blasts everybody. That'd be awesome. That'd be super duper cool. Cookie. Giant paw swipe. Cookies are common drops anyway, so... Might as well do this. Oopsie. Did I use them all? Yeah, it should be fine. Alright, let's go up now. It's now Ness's stand. Ooh. If a mi if a mouse bites you and, you and it does a critical hit, you need to go to the doctor and get a shot or something. 34. The jump in experience from enemies is pretty wild, ain't it? You know there's PK Starstorm, right? No, this is PK Moonstorm with teddy bears. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, I think I remember people hearing that even though it's his final smash, um, Ness actually can't use PK Starstorm, right? Is that true? That's correct. Correct. Okay. Oh, okay. There's two of them. I don't want to use 10 PP, though. So let's do this. Damn, they're getting crits on me. Black Antoid. Mm. Okay, good. I can one-shot him. I'm leveling up real fast, damn. Okay... Yeah, I did default names, don't worry. I need 184 for next level. I'm level 8 already. I feel like I'm getting further along, damn. Like, the snakes give you, like, 1, 2, or 3 experience. And then you get to this damn cave, and, the, and beating up a couple of slugs gives you 100. <laughs> this is wild. Um, trying to save PP, so you know what? Let me just use one of these burgers. Let me eat the trash burger. 46? I thought it was 50. Oh, it hit my max, did it? Must have, right? Oh, no, it didn't. Okay. Yummy garbage burger. Around 50. Kind of a range, huh? Rowdy mouse. Oh, damn it, it bit me again. Thirty-four. There's a cold remedy. Oh, yeah, hell yeah, cold medicine I found in a cave outside of town. That's how you know it's good. I thought that was a rope. Well, I hope it's slugs. I don't really need to use the, uh, the spread attack yet. I'm trying to save my PP so I can use it to heal as well. Nice. I think I can one-shot them now. Well, I tried to turn around, but I guess this is fine. It's attacking. 9 HP. Good, good, good. Ooh, so sorry. Ant robots. Need two for next level. Hello, next level. 
and a slug. The slug became tame. You won. 64, level 9. Vitality went up by 1, IQ... Nice, more HP and more PP. I think my level ups have been pretty solid, but I obviously don't really have much to compare that to. Gotta get going, friend? Alright, catch you later. Oh, hang on. If that's there, I may as well just use life up here. These butterflies are seemingly common. Oh boy. I don't know how long it takes a first-time playthrough of Earthbound at all, but no rush to get to the end of this game. Just gonna slowly enjoy it as we do little streams. Those bugs are in the way. Oh, now I one-shot them. Wait, I one-shot things for three, 37 experience? Damn. This game makes it easy to level. Okay, it must be the slugs I uh, auto-kill now. Looks like I didn't do enough to the black antoid there. No one came. Uh, I don't need to use it. Just missed. Yeah, take it out already. We're fine. Just missed. Alright, fine, I'm gonna do one. Psychic Teddy Blast. Powerful. Okay, if you're I'm, if I'm under leveled, them calling for help is a problem, but I just get more XP if I can abuse that. Hamburger! Hell yeah. I love cave present hamburgers. Delicious. Yeah! Come on, bro. Yeah, we can do this. He's trying to life up, but it doesn't matter. Mmm, -mm, delicious. The best part about p eating hamburgers off a cave floor is they got that little extra, like, spice on top. Uh, the sprinkled cave dirt. That's the secret sauce right there. Cookies. I may as well eat that. Hell yeah, floor cookie. Oh, I can't even notice the bugs until they're already moving. This game is making me feel like I spent, like, two hours, like, power grinding before I started the game, but I don't feel like I I'm really playing that strangely. Did they make this game much easier for the North American release or anything like that? You finally got here. This is the first Your Sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me, if you dare. Okay. Only in certain areas. Uh, okay. Well then. Titanic Ant. Okay, looks like there's a bunch of them there, so let's go ahead and use PSI Teddy. They clearly want me to have this attack just for this battle. He's hitting me hard. Oh, this battle! Theme. Yeah, this melody was also in Mother 1, but this specific, specific instance of the track, I've heard in so many, like, YouTube videos, because everyone uses it as, like, background music. Okay. Um, I think, actually, I should just use a hamburger. Save my PP. Never mind, I'm dead. Overpowered, and then when I get to the boss, he just slaughters me. Yeah, let's go. Come on, you can do it. I gotta restore the PP with this. You're back. Well, 
I say we just head back to the cave and try again. I entered with kind of like too few health, but it's okay. Um, there's nothing else to really... There's no new stuff to buy, I'd say. I have to go do this so I can go, uh, le go to Tucson. There's money. Hell yes. S needs 220. I'll probably get another level by the time I get back there. Alright, let's go. I don't really need to use the skip sandwich. Clearly it's a pain in the ass to go back and forth over and over. I just need to beat up a few slugs. Oh boy. Make some extra cookies. Use those when we get near there. Everything is going just dandy. Ness is just walking and talking. Well, no, Ness doesn't talk. Kind of, maybe. He does say PK Fire and PK Thunder. Smash Brothers. All right, let's get in here. Uh. Hello, it's your dad. I have a cell phone? You've been out there for a long time now. It may be none of my business, but don't you think it would be a good idea if you took a break? No. I see. Well, doesn't make me happy. But I understand your point about the fate of the world being at stake. Click. Beep. Don't tell me what to do, Dad. I'm a streamer. I'm working right now. Ash. Take that mouse. Nintendo's like, take a break. And I'm like, no. I'll take a break when I feel like it. I'm not sure I can even run away from these guys if I were to, like, try and creep past them. You won. Red roll. Excellent. The mice want blood. I'm surprised I can't one-shot the mice yet. Gamers don't take breaks. Everybody get, like, the... Just sit at your desk with, like, a, a built-in toilet at, at the computer chair. That's what you need. You win! Chat, who needs to stand up? Hang on, I will take them all out. Who needs to, like, go outside when there's video games I can still be playing? There we go. What is outside? Why would I go out there? The graphics suck. Stretch. You don't tell me what to do. Oh, that's a lot of slugs. I'm gonna take them all out at once. Ugh. I'm stretching a little bit, don't worry. This is gonna give me a lot of stuff. That's a lot of enemies at once though, jeez. 162. Level 10. Offense went up by 1. G Guts is your crit rate, wasn't it? Power of healing A. Okay, healing A is for status conditions, I think. It's not like health recovery. Now, what about my next level? 676? Oh man, that's gonna take a while. Wait, what was my max HP? 91. Still take things out along the way. Guts is crit rate, but it can sometimes save you from a mortal blow. That was also a bad level up. It seemed like, yeah, it only went up a tiny bit. I had a really good one not too long ago, so I guess it equals out. Come on, guys. Let's take him out. 
RNG leveling. I'm gonna have to use a heal to, like, get myself topped up for the battle anyway. There's probably gonna be a butterfly on the next outside section. Seems like I can consistently one-shot these things again. That is an annoying thing about Fire Emblem, yeah. The randomness when leveling up. Because, like, it'll be like, oh, I want to train up this weak character, and you put him in, like, the riskiest situation where someone could die, and then he gets the kill, and he gets, like, plus one to the worst stat they don't even need and nothing else. And then it's like, damn, I don't want to do this Iron Man challenge anymore. Screw it. It's all fun and games till you get a bad level up. The magic butterfly made you relax. Okay. There's nothing else over there. Oh, the butterfly respawns? Nice. Ugh. You win! 37. You win! Aw, oh, damn it. Yeah, leave the cookie behind. Hang on. Let me just eat this cookie right here. I pick up another one. Thirty-seven. Where are we at now? Two ninety-nine. Because my last level up kind of sucked. I kind of want to get one more. Let's do it. Called for help. NHP to Ness. Black Antoid became tame. 74 on that one. Are these... I think these ants are higher level. Oh, mice. Like, at the rate they're giving me stuff, this will not take long at all. Okay, two mice. It's fine. They're biting. Hang on, I can go but Actually, wait, I can just keep uh, recycling the... Um... They're gonna kill me now, because they got too many crits. Oh, this is bad. Oh, thank goodness he missed. I was so close to having to come all the way back. That was almost really, really bad. Oh, boy. 68. Hold up. That butterfly should be... always here, right? Or do I have to exit from this, this one? Okay, I see. So effectively, I can infinitely heal this way. Let's take a look here. 120 for next level, max PP. Oh, the PP is, is psychic points, not power points in this. Okay. Let's get that level. You win. Come on, lads, we can do this. Okay, we got the black antoids here. It's trying to life up. Seventy-four right there, not bad. Going into this next room should be okay. Eleven. Offense went up by two, Guts went up by one, Vitality one, Luck by two. There's my HP upgrade. Um... Now we're on 105. Yeah, I'd say we can just go to the boss now. I should be fine. Oh, come on! I turned at the last frame by mistake. Well, guess I'm eating a cookie. Jerk. 
37. How much do I need for the next level? 938. Damn. Tell me, no, you ain't gonna go to, uh, grind too much. 5 HP. Didn't even get the 6 this time. Alright, buddy, I'm here to take it from you. We finally got here. First sanctuary location. Take it from me. And it's cohorts attack. Okay. First, we're gonna use Hyper Teddy Blast. 18 damage. Okay, here we go. Psychic Teddy Blast. 66 to the ant. There goes the Antoids. Then we're gonna bash you. Defense down? Get out of here with that, bro. Went down by one. That's pretty nothing. Okay, it should be fine. Looks like I'm gonna have to heal next turn to play it safe. BSI, recover, life up. Magnet. Drain 5 PP. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Well, there goes all my stuff I can use. Just keep bashing him. Did not work. He's wasting turns doing this, so I don't care. Excellent. Ooh, that's a lot. <laughs> that next level's right around the corner now. A lot more than you think it'd be. Alrighty, first boss defeated. Oh, it's called Giant Step because there's a giant footprint at the top. Okay, I get it. Part of the eight melodies there. Ness caught a glimpse of a small, cute puppy. Nessa's soundstone recorded the melody of the giant step. No problem here. I remember that Mother One, the only track that gave me any copyright issues due to some jackass sampling it, was uh, the full eight melodies playing during like the very, very end. So, hope that doesn't cause any issues here. So I got it. Hang on, does the soundstone... Soundstone, if you touch this to your forehead and concentrate your thoughts, your sanctuary melodies can be heard. Okay. Hang on, is there a thing on the menu that shows how many melodies I have? In status, maybe? No. Maybe if I use the soundstone, it'll... gather his thoughts. Oh, I see, I see. It's like, select your boss in uh, Mega Man right here. It has its own all screen. In Mother 1, you just open up the menu and it says, like, melodies, and it will show a symbol. That's all that. Now we make the long trek back. Hold up, how much did I need for next level? 179. Nice. Excellent. You win! 37. By the way, chat, we've talked a lot about video game randomizers in a lot of streams. Um, what about this game? Obviously, Mother... Yeah, sorry. Earthbound, specifically, is very, very popular. Does it have any kind of randomizer? I wonder how that would work. I feel like it would get re really grindy at the start due to the low amount of options. It does? Okay. Oh, the bugs are lagging. Ooh, all the slugs. EXP pinatas. Get him, Teddy. Psycho Teddy boost. Does it have an entrance rando? Good question. More games could really use an entrance rando, where you just walk in the door of one house, and you can come out of, like, a house at the end of the game. Uh... I know that Ocarina of Time and uh, Link to the Past have it. I don't know if the Majora one had an entrance randomizer. It probably does by now. Oh, baby! Offense went up by three. A triple. Two. One. One. Two IQ. 
You hear that, chat? I got smartitude with that one. That rocks. Maximum... Oh, okay. Is that rocks better than Oh Baby? Maximum PP went up by 10. Damn. Nest realized the power of shield alpha. Guess that buffs defense. Maybe. There's a Fallout New Vegas door randomizer. Oh, that's cool. I still haven't really played New Vegas. <laughs> Alright, let's make our way all the way back down. No instant kill still? Damn. IQ influences how much PP you can get on the next level. Okay. 71 on that. Hold up, how much for my next level now? 1,105. That's not bad at all. If I really wanted to, I could stay here and grind another level, but it's not necessary. We're only at the start of the game, and the experience requirements jump from single digits to triple digits. Hell yeah, cookies. Oops, I stepped on the ant. I'm getting loaded on cookies again. I didn't even need it, but it's whatever. That mouse wanted to fight. Earthbound Rando has an ancient cave mode, which starts you with all party members and turns it into a randomized nine-floor maze you have to work through. Oh, that's cool. I love hearing now, like, all the different things that randomizers can do now. Pretty awesome. Slug. PSI Teddy. Those slugs get rained on. Local ruffians are actually weaker than the slugs, which is funny. 108 right there. Slug fans are in absolute tears watching this stream now. Hey you! Board says do not enter. Could you not read? No, sorry, I don't read English. What a rebellious kid. Come on to the Onet police station later. Alright. I saved the town and they already don't care no more. No problem here. Wow, you opened the door. Alright, here's a trinket for good luck. Wait, what? Oh, could I have gotten this earlier? Damn it. Uh-huh. Big footprints called Giant Step. What a cool name. Uh, doesn't do anything. Goods. Uh. Must be equipped on your body. Protects you from paralysis. Oh, that did not make a single difference. It didn't matter. Hold up. How much HP I got? 120. Okay, good. Let me just get the butterfly. Nothing in that cave can inflict paralysis. If it could, it never happens. The cop said to just go to the station, so I, I wouldn't want to not do that. That would be dishonest. He said I should. Bum, bum, bum. Me walking. Where they at again? It's, uh, I think the station was like the bottom right. They're still blocking the exit, so I guess I gotta do this. Yeah, what's up? So here you are! You're the little delinquent that came back from Giant Step. Now you listen here. Don't enter means just that. Do not enter, you got that? And furthermore, blah, 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 blah. It's usually those tax evaders who blah, 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 blah. We don't enjoy blocking off roads, you know? Blah, 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 blah. Usually the local whiners that make a big deal about emergencies and meteorites. Blah, 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 blah. 
Why is the road to Tucson closed? An emergency, of course. At times like this, kids like you should be playing Nintendo games. Anyway, are you sure you want to go to Tucson? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Follow me. Okay. Are we gonna go to Tucson? Where are we going? Is Tucson in here? Show me what you got. Wait, what? See if you can get past five of my best men. Ugh. Damn it, this really is America. All right, let's do it. Yeah! Hey, small fry, you must be shaking in your boots. He's coming to attack. Ness attacks. Oh, he just punched that child. Cop turned back to normal. 86. You should join the police force. Your average policeman's stronger than any superhero. Um. Oh, I broke his kneecaps. You want to pass somewhere? You have to just fight the officers. Why not? Don't let the mayor's compliments give you a big head. Bring it on, fat boy. Okay, boy! Let's not bring weight into this. You guys literally built your station next to the bakery. I don't want to hear it. Um, if I die here, do I go back to my house? Or is this like a game over situation? I'm also wondering if the dialogue is different here. In the Japanese version. Is it? Because, um... <laughs> The way this is set up is a bit weird. Next time, I'll take you out my nuclear suplex attack. Come on, I'm gonna take you apart right now, baby. <laughs> All right, bro, you wanna go to Tucson? Come get the one-two from back here. Break him. Hydrate, don't mind if I do. Girl, I lost. That's it, buddy. You can forget about me. I'm gonna call for my boss. All right, then. <laughs> There's no way I can beat you in a straight competition, so get ready for my Super Ultra Mambo Tango Foxtrot Martial Arts. Captain Strong. All right. Grappled and used a submission hold. Oh, my God! Better heal. He's on guard. Grappled and used a submission hold. His offense went up. Came out swinging. 27 damage, huh? Defeated. You won. Ooh, that's a lot of... That's a good chunk of change right there. I didn't think you would do so well against the mighty Onet police force. You want me to open the road to Tucson? Hang on for a sec, I'll radio my staff and give him the word. Damn it, this kid was able to take it. We better give him what he wants before he tries to sue us. Click. Strong here. You read me? Hey, me, Captain Strong. Okay, listen, kid named Ness will be there in a few minutes. He's a kid in a red cap. Why don't you open the road to Tucson for him? I know that, I know that. Don't ask me why, just do it. That's an order. Strong out. Okay, well, I'm not gonna question you now, but I do wanna see you again. Good luck. All right then. That was certainly a scene, wasn't it? Look at this, look at this. This guy wants to go to Tucson. Hey, hey Frank, you see this kid? He wants to go to Tucson. And then they just take him to a room and try to beat the crap out of him. The hell was that? Um, do I want to go back to my house? 53 for next level. Not really. I'll probably find a new hotel up ahead. Let's eat a cookie. Yeah, that's good enough to carry me for the road. I have no money to lose. I have... I have one dollar in my pocket. Big whoop. They're gonna... If I get beat up by a crook... They're gonna take the dollar out of my pocket and they're gonna toss me two quarters. That's what's gonna happen. 
Hey, aren't you Ness? Well, got the okay from Chief Strong. Take care of yourself. You're doing well. Keep it up. Town map can be checked out at the library. You can also use the map in Tucson. It's useful. Alright, does that mean... We're in Tucson already? What's this? Oh no, it's a rat house. I live rent-free in this mouse's house. The mice are known as exit mice. They are very kind and boy are they fast. I love these guys. Please take my son along. He may look like a regular small mouse, but he can lead you to an exit if you're lost in a maze. You take one of my sons? Okay. Got an exit mouse. Please take my son along. You have him already. Ooh, do I get to come along too? Okay. That's a neat idea for a mechanic, I guess. Maybe I'll hang on to it? I don't trust the mice, though. Ant in the fields. We gotta fight. Well then. Psychic Teddy Blast. Did I miss one? Yes, I did. You won. Look at that background. Level 13. Defense went up. Maximum HP. Oh, damn. That was nothing. Dude, I got nothing right there. Is that just one of those irregular levels or what? Hamburger. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, the bread roll restore. Yeah, I can just eat that. Hamburgers, hell yeah! A mushroom? Oh, that's a mushroom. Ramblin' evil mushroom. Missed. Scattered some spores. Uh-oh. Feeling funky! Uh-oh. Wait a second. Oh god, there's a mushroom growing out of my head. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Is there a hospital... ...close by? Or do I have to go through this forest? Oh wait, I have the map? I see the hospital. Baby mole. I'm not an enemy, I'm just a friendly mole. I'll tell you how to distinguish between your friends and enemies. It's easy to tell an enemy by looking at them. Enemies look like humans with weird colored faces. Beware of them. However, you can't get more powerful if you avoid your enemies. Thanks for the tip, Mr. Mole. Here I was, not fighting anybody. Welcome! Would you like me to tell you about Tucson? Tucson has a modern, clean hotel. There's a hospital and a wonderful chaos theater. Uh, there's also Polestar Preschool and a nice bus station. If you're curious, you might want to check out Berglund Park. East of town, you'll find the peaceful Rest Valley. Other side of the, ha the valley is Happy Happy Village. There's also a pizza parlor. You want to know anything else? Well, teehee, I don't know anything else. Okay. Bus stop is that yellow thing down there. To Threed. Okay. Houston Hotel, $50 a night. Oh. What's this? What's happening? What's happening? Oh god, not you again. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say, Fuzzy Pickles. Oh, the mushroom's gone. Wow, what a great photograph. It'll always bring back the fondest memories. Away! Cycle shop. Why am I moving weird? Oh no, does the mushroom mess up my controls? Oh god, it does. Pfft. <sighs> 
Took a while to kick in, apparently. This is a cycle shop. Punk, sure. Bicycles are so much fun and are so convenient. It's a lot faster than walking. You'll be really popular with the biking crowd. You want a bicycle? Yeah. Fortunately, we don't have any more bikes. We only have rentals. Do you want to rent one? Uh, maybe later? I really like your straightforward style. I'll tell you what. I'll let you borrow a bike for free. You have too many items. Why don't you get rid of something? I know you want it now. My hands are tied. Okay, then. Oh, God. I hate, I hate this. Well, let's, let's hang on. I gotta get to the hospital. Is it changing? Oh, it is, isn't it? I'm holding down the same direction. Okay, get out of the way. Darn it, I walked in front of a car because I was uh, affected by mushrooms. This is the American experience. I don't know what they're doing. Hospital is back there. Here we go, everybody. Oh, God. Why is that cop blue in the face? Something tells me he's gonna attack me. Hang on. Get in there. Damn it. No, 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 no. Get, get in there. Ah! Oh! It's like changing. <laughs> I have to figure out which direction is which when I walk into a new map. Wait, no, hang on. You, oh God, help me, please. Though you may not believe it, I'm a healer. You got some illness that cannot be treated. Please, 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 please do that. Could you sell me that mushroom growing on top of your head? Come on, let's make a deal. Sure, sure. I don't know if I'm allowed to sell these legally. By the way, you need any help? Uh, yes. What do you want me to do? Soften, restore feeling, purify, come back if necessary. Oh, thank God. Thank goodness that's dealt with. I'm not busy. Shall I explain the hospital? No. Yeah, well, I'm actually pretty busy. <laughs> $50 per mushroom there. Don't, uh, don't, don't let the boys find out about that one. Word on the street is a lot of people want to get their hands on that. Healer pays you to cure mushroom. Not an effective way to get money, though, because it takes forever. Anyway, what the hell are you all up to? We may be popular, but that girl who lives at the house with the preschool is the talk of the town. I want to see her someday. We, that's right. We're the Runaway Five. We're popular, but not rich. We're being cheated by the theater, and we're really deep in debt. Runaway Five tour bus. Can I not go through here? No, I cannot. Oh, goddamn, I can't go that way. Okay. Hang on. Where is the school? Hotel, department store? I could check the store, actually. They're probably gonna have new items for me. I saw some weird bad guy following Paula. This guy gave me the creeps. But he seems obsessed with this Paula character. Hey, are you Teddy? I always feel much better after hearing my mom's voice over the phone. I was really homesick recently. My mom cheered me up. You should call your mom. Believe me, those melancholy feelings will be gone before you know it. A person looks like they could be Teddy. Like, look at their sprite. Okay. First, let's take out some money. Withdrawal. Woo! Dad's been giving me all the money. Uh, let me take out 300 right now. Let's see what they're selling. Would you like to return something? No. That's good. You want to buy a ticket for the Runaway 5? Um, maybe when I have room? Let's go up first. Oh, I have to actually let it ride me up. Hang on, what do I have on me? Um... Let me just eat the bread roll. I'm gonna need space on the way out. I heard a meteorite crashed on a hilltop near Onette. That must have been exciting. I think my grandchild's older than you. He's a famous investigator. Or inventor. Why'd I read investigator? He lives here and people call him Orange Kid. He seems to be popular with the girls because he's groovy. 
Hello, may I take your order? I don't like how forced your smile is, lady. Take my business elsewhere. Yum, yum. I'm eating a skip sandwich. It makes you want to start skipping. Saw it on TV and I just had to try one. I bet I can really move after eating this. This is an interesting layout for the map here. I want to visit my boyfriend in three, except the bus won't go there. I wonder why. That teddy bear they sell over there. Heard it helps in battle. Teddies that help in battle? I don't know what they're talking about. Looks like a plain old teddy bear to me. They don't understand the significance of bears in this channel. Happy Happy Village is getting to be more and more blue. Do you get it? No. Explain it. Hello there. May I help you? Can I buy anything? T-ball bat. Frying pan. That must be for Paula. Slingshot. Um... Is the slingshot good, or is it, like, inaccurate like the yo-yo? Cheap bracelet, baseball cap, ribbon must be for Paula as well. Bad accuracy? Okay, I won't get it then. Hi, can I help you? What are you gonna buy? Teddy bear. Yes, I'll buy a bear. I have no idea what the hell it's gonna do, but I'll take it. Oh, it's following me. What? a red bear. Uh, teddy bear. A cute teddy bear. Uh, okay. Well, hang on to it. Cost a lot of goddamn money. Is it gonna die in battle? I wonder if it will. It's been a while since I made a save. Um, hang on. I should... Go ahead and store some stuff. Uh, delivery? We don't have any of your stuff that's in storage right now. Okay, then. Try again! Pick up? I thought pick up was me picking up my stuff. I could have worded this a little bit better. Wait, what? We'll send someone over to pick it up? Where? Hello, this is Escargo Express. Your delivery charge is- Oh, here we go. $18. You can cover the bill, right? That's how they get ya. What do you want me to take? Take up to three things. Cold remedy? Yes. Um... I don't really want the skip sandwich right now. You can take one of the hamburgers. Yes. All right, thanks a lot. Okay. You want to buy a ticket? Yes, the main floor and balcony seats are sold out. We only have box seats. Sure. The box seats are also sold out. My mistake. Box seats are most popular. Well, I guess I can't get a ticket. At least I have inventory space now. Now I guess we check around town until we find Paula. There was a kidnapping. Believe me, even though I'm just a dog. Woof. Oh, damn, that's serious. Did you hear that, Teddy? We gotta save someone. Someone's in danger. Come along, little red bear. Guess we could check this place out first. Paula isn't here. She suddenly left, and I don't know where she went. I'm just going to walk with my teddy. When I grow up, I want to be just like Paula. Well, I wanted to play with Paula, but she's gone somewhere. Paula's like a mother to me. You may not be able to comprehend my emotions. I might have a baby face, but I possess the mind of an adult. I beg your pardon? Okay, weirdo. Whistle, whistle anywhere. It makes me smile all the while. I'm Paula's mother. I'm busy taking care of the kids. You shouldn't worry about Paula. She has a guardian angel, it seems. Okay, you're a fantastic mother. I guess I'll go save her myself. Uh. So, you want to see Paula? Many come here to see her miraculous powers, but they're just leeches. So, are you from a TV station? No, I'm from YouTube. That's worse. To meet you or not to meet you can only be decided by Paula. 
Paula has said that she would only meet with a boy named Ness. Ooh. So you're Ness. You're the one that was in Paula's dream. You will save the world. Let me go call Paula. She doesn't seem to be here. I wonder where she went. Sorry, could you come back later? Now, where did she go? Sorry, come back later. Let me look upstairs myself. Bro, your master bedroom is like a hallway. Let's open the present. There's a teddy bear. I've got two bears? Two bears? Double the wholesome. Double the fun. Double bear action. Unbelievable. No problem here. Me walking around with my plushies like we own this damn town. I'll have you know that I've slaughtered dozens of slugs. I'm not afraid of anything. If you have two teddies, that means you're double ready for anything. Well, guess we better look around the town. Orange Kid. Home of Orange Kid, inventor. Apple Kid's down there. Greetings, I'm Orange Kid, the inventor. Have you heard of me? I'm a bit embarrassed about my reputation. I have a lot of inventions in development, but I'm running short on cash. I'm basically a happy-go-lucky person, so I'm not worried. You know, I'm working on this machine that would really help you in peaceful Rest Valley. Hope it's ready soon. What? You're actually willing to help finance the project? I didn't say that. Oh, goody. Would it be okay if I get $200 to buy materials? What? You don't have that much money? Well, perhaps you shouldn't be yapping about having cash then, bunny. I'll come back later with more money. That's probably important. What about Apple Kid? Maybe he's nicer. Well, I have sort of neglected my housework. I know it's a bit of a pigsty, but anyway, I'm Apple Kid. I haven't taken a bath in quite a while, so I may be kind of stinky. By the way, I'm starving. Do you have something to eat? If you do, can I have some? Um... What can you give me? Maybe I can give him a burger? I'm gonna regret this. Thanks, you seem very nice. Uh, I wonder if maybe you would like to invest some money in my inventions? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, excuse me, I mean thank you. By the way, I could really use $200. Oh, you don't have any money. Well, go ahead and make yourself comfortable anyway. You can flop down anywhere. Seems like you're expecting something from me. Maybe you would like to invest some money. Okay. Is, like... Do you only want to give to one of them, or do you, should you give to both of them? I wonder if the game's setting me up to get, uh, get scammed by one. I am a mouse. No one has given me a name yet. Ness dug around the trash can. Well, let's see. There's a broken machine. What's mine now? What's this? Broken machine. They're a way of knowing it's originally used some kind of broken gadget. That genius Jeff should be able to fix it. I just know who Jeff is, apparently. Alright, I'll probably give something to both then. I got the money. No problem here. Game just, just like, skipped ahead. Expecting me to know who's who. Come here, puppy. You won! Ness gained four experience. Where am I at? I can go down to three until I see a roadblock or something. Now I'm down over here, apparently. Going on a big adventure. Oh, I'm committed to running this way now. Let's open the present. There's a skip sandwich. I can see why they put it there. I've reached a dead-end house. Wait. Who are you? You meet annoying old... old party man. Oh, he's a drunk guy, isn't he? 
is reeling. He sure is. Like, I can immediately tell that that was a localization change, yeah. <laughs> like, that one's super obvious. Let's see. 1,163. I just hate when random drunk guys... Oh, wait, it's Teddy! It's just a hunch, but I think the ghosts in the tunnel don't like anything upbeat and cheerful. When I was driving in the tunnel, I was playing some grooving tunes, and the ghost moved slower. I think the ghost can't stand anything positive. Does that mean they'll piss off because I have a teddy? The mono colors here remind me of off. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Go back, go back. Oh, he's not kicking me out? Whoa, whoa, go back, go back. Wait, what'd he say? Did I skip that one? Whoa, 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 go back, go back. Okay, they're gonna kick me out. So I guess I can't go through there without something happy and positive. Trying to see what the roadblock was before I actually go go that way, or or actually go back. You know what I mean? Oh, is that a drunk hippie? Or sorry, is it a um new age retro hippie? Is he drunk or is he um uh is he has he uh, used a certain kind of grass recently? One of the two. Herb-infused, peaceful gentleman. He's grooving. He's attacking. Turn back to normal. 160. Whoa, man. He's just trying to attack me. Can't I just walk around with my bear? Where did all these hippies come from? Did a bus break down and then they didn't have enough uh, grass to share? Now they're just running around the, the highway, just attacking people? They're looking for the mushrooms. <laughs> okay. Man, aliens are real. I saw them, I'm telling you. Butterfly. Okay, let's get more info about what's going on in this town. I'm nuts about this one kid inventor. No, not that airheaded dweeby apple kid. I'm talking about the incredibly hot orange kid. That stupid slob apple kid always asks me for something to eat. He's the inventor. He should invent some food for himself. Okay. Kinda rude, girl, not gonna lie. You're hungry? Just invent some food. Yeah, that's a, gr that's a great idea. Tell that to every nation in the world. Um, why, why didn't I think of that? Hold on. Wahahaha, ha, ha, ha. why don't we chat later after we've locked horns? Wait, what? Everdread. Bro. Wait, he dresses. That's reason enough to beat him up. He punched me in the gut. He attacked my bear! No! The teddy bear became a pile of fluff? How could they? He knitted his brow. He missed. Can't believe they did that. The teddies! Not the freaking teddies! Oh. That's a lot of experience, though. He, imagine someone comes up to you and punches your teddy bear so hard that it turns into a pile of fluff. How could we? Hmm. Offense went up by two. Maximum HP went up by two. PP went up by two. Paralysis. I haven't really had a need to use, like, the status ones very much, because I only have one person. Yes, I'm Everdread, boss of Berglund Park. 
When I jumped off the roof, I twisted my ankle. Anyway, I lost, and nothing will change that. You know, you're pretty strong. Yeah, I know you want to find out about a girl named Paula. She went off to a secret hideout in the peaceful Rest Valley. Chubby boy and a weird guy in a blue outfit have kidnapped her. Ah, damn it, Pokey's kidnapping people. Chubby boy and a weird guy in a blue outfit kidnapped her. They said they were going to make Paula some sort of human sacrifice. Oh, what the hell did I stumble into? They were definitely hardcore strange. You know, she might be gone already. You better hurry. You save Paula. Be sure to come back, okay? Don't forget. Where the hell is the the valley? Did I... Maybe I take, take the bus stop to it. Hey, why don't you buy the world's greatest ruler? How great. Thank you. That's two clams. Here you go. One ruler. Ruler. You can even use this during battle. Can be used many times. I don't really know what it did. Hello, would you like some seasoning to add to your foods at mealtime? They're really quite miraculous. Whenever you eat something, the seasonings will sprinkle automatically. They come in these cute little packets and jars. What kind do you like? Tin of cocoa! Jar of hot sauce. Hmm, come again. Everdread has always watched over Berglund Park. That's why we don't have to bribe any crooked cops. Boss of Berglund Park is Everdread. He's got ties to burglaries and kidnappings in this area. He's a scary guy. Berglund Park seems dangerous, but there's some great stuff there. Okay, where's the bus stop? Try going to that. Seasoning from a hippie. Not sure I want to buy that. Too cheap to be true. Do cookies go with cocoa? They damn well better. Thinking about catching a bus to three, and I heard there were ghosts along the way. Wonder if the bus will have to turn back around. People in Happy Happy Village are fanatical about a strange religion. Maybe they got some sort of bad fever. If you go to the east, you could run into trouble. Peaceful Rest Valley and Happy Happy Village are waiting for you. I've also heard there are UFOs in the Peaceful Rest Valley. Well, guess I'm gonna have to fight a cult. It's Resident Evil 4, except all I got with me is a teddy. Hear that a girl named Paula was kidnapped while helping out at the Polestar Preschool. Well, I guess we'll head this way. It wasn't really on the map that I could exit there, was it? Probably gonna switch games soon enough. Oh, the plants are attacking. Mobile Sprout. Teddy Bear does not have any PP. I haven't really saved, no. I didn't really visit a hotel. Hang on. Peaceful Rest Valley, proceed through cave. Okay, there's a whole cave to get through here, huh? What's in the cave? How tough are things? Because I might want to go back and save. Just a bunch of sprouts? Hang on, maybe I should also just use the hotel there. Because, like, if you die, you go back to the last place you slept at, correct? So that means the hotel would be my last checkpoint. Status. Okay, I need, like, 12k there. Or, sorry, 1200. Let's go back. Looks like I found the next... <coughs> oh, pardon me. I'm kind of choking on my own oxygen right here. I found the next place to go. I have an idea of what to do. So I might just take a break and sw get ready to switch games, because I've been playing this for three hours. I'm having fun with the chat. I'm looking for already looking forward to doing some more. What's in the bus station? Talk to people. Oh, there's an ATM and phone here. That's right, I'm a bus driver. For now, I'm resting. Life is long. Take it easy, Chubbs. Why don't you check out your town map and learn about the area? Did you just call me Chubbs? Take the bus or not to take the bus? I get scared easily. I was in the last war, so I'm not scared of ghosts. Actually, I'm more scared of my old lady. 
town's bus system's a little strange. Be sure to check the bus stop signs. Wonder who came up with this system. Okay. Should probably take out some money. Let's just take out 400 here. Because I want to give stuff to the people. Pizza! Check out the pizza place. There's no one in here except the salesperson, so who cares? Now, where's the hotel at? Uh, the corner of the damn map. Okay. Berglund Park is right there. I keep getting stuck on things. At least I still have a teddy. The theater I'll have to check at some point. I'm starting a line here. I want a ticket for today's show, but I may not get it. I love standing in a queue. I also love words that start with queue. Queen, quiet, quick. If I had some connections, I could waltz right in, but I'm just a regular Joe. Can I waltz in? I guess I lost my ticket, so now I can't get in. The ticket counter at the department store was even sold out. Hello, please present your ticket. You want to see, uh, Uchifud, the manager? Right through this door. Runaway, uh, the Runaway Five owe me a lot of money. They'll stay here till they pay me back. They might be here for a hundred years, unless you decide to pay off their debt. <laughs> well, that means I'm gonna have to pay off their debt, because apparently that's my problem. Can't everybody just go, like, beat up some wild creatures until their dad gives them a bunch of free money? It's really that easy. I don't know why everyone else doesn't do it. I'm using a t-ball bat, for crying out loud. That's the department store. Go invent money. Oh, yeah, that's another idea. Why haven't we think I've thought of that yet? Have I been in here? There's an upstairs to this house. Did you know that two young inventors live in this town? I want to invent something, too. Okay. Did you need a whole house to tell me that? If you invent money, isn't that just counterfeiting? That's right. You can't just make that. Whoa, someone got a sports car. What about this house? Dad and Mom have left for Happy Happy Village. They want to meet with the founder of the religion there. So, all the parents are abandoning their kids to go to some creepy cult in Happy Happy Village. Sounds like a fun time. Hang on, can I check the manholes? No. Where am I at? I actually forgot to, um, rent the bike. I kind of completely forgot to come back for that. Sure. Really like your straightforward style. Let you borrow a bike for free. You know that two people can't ride on one bicycle, so of course three or four people on a bike would be impossible. Without anything following you. Teddy bear. No! Carrying a bear and riding is impossible for you. Don't even think about riding a bike into a cave. I can't- I have to choose between bears and bikes? Why, game? Why? Well, I guess I can't do that. Hang on, so I guess I just have the bike with me, but I can only use it in, in uh, certain conditions. You should ride your bike in a less confined area. Where am I at? Let's go to the hotel. Bears are much more important. You must be quite a rich boy to stay in a nice, first-class hotel like this one. Welcome to Hotel Tucson. One night stay will cost $50. Yeah, yeah, sure. Take your money, you jerk. Ness? 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 I'm a friend you've never met before. My name is Paula. Can you hear me calling you? I am Paula. Ness. I. Paula. I am Paula. Can you hear me calling you? Help. 
Come and help me. I don't know where I am. I can hear water running in the distance. Yes, please help me. Can I, like, sleep in peace? Not gonna lie, invading someone's dreams to ask me about what I can do for you? And yeah, that's pretty damn rude. Sleep time is me time. You are got some issues going on? You wait till I'm awake, please. How about reading the newspaper? Here's this morning's Tucson Tribune headline. The brave local hero named Ness who broke up the sharks has left Donet. Reports that the mayor stopped the sharks have been proven to be false. What? So what? Huh? Pardon? Jeez. Hmm? You're annoying. Dang me. Yeah, yeah. Ah ha ha. Hey you. Later days, pal. Ah ha ha. So hot today. Rocks. Is it cold? Oh ho ho. See ya. Here, get yourself a juice or something. Ching. Ness got fifty dollars. Good luck, okay? All right. He gave me money. Just talk to him for a bit. Do you have a mushroom, or do I have a mushroom on my head? Yes, that's what I thought. Recently, I couldn't walk quite right. It was because of this mushroom. It's actually kind of fun, so I'll leave it there. Okay. Good luck with that. Hang on. Ness picked up the receiver. Let's go ahead and call Dad. Ooh, more money. Well, experience to get to the next level is that. You want to? Uh, what do you want to do? Record. All done. Your dear old dad was thinking about hitting the hay. Continue. Okay. I'm a bit. I'm a bit worried about it not saving when I exit the app. So let me just. Let me just do this at the end of every stream, just in case. Okay, chat. That was fun. This was my first session of playing Earthbound for the first time. I think I, I mean, I'm sure if someone knows what to do in this situation, they probably, like, are long, far past where I got. I've been talking to everybody. Made it quite far. Far for the first time, I feel. Um, I think I'm, like, level 10 or 11. That's not bad. Good progress. I got some stuff. The next thing we need to do is go to Happy Happy Valley or Peaceful Rest Area or whatever and find Paula, who's apparently been kidnapped and being used as human sacrifice. So, fun times when we get to do that next time. I'm level 14. Was I? Hold up. Oh, look at that, I am. I'm not sure if that's a good offense stat, but I had some good level ups, but apparently bad ones. I'm doing faster pace than you did at your first time. Alrighty then. Um, I think I'll probably play some more of this on Saturday, along with some more Pikmin. But, um, we're gonna go ahead and stop this here, take a break, and get ready to switch games on Twitch. If you're watching on YouTube, hope you're enjoying this so far. Hope it's comfy. Look forward to more, and eventually Mother 3. Have a good night. Bye-bye.